Check, check, check. Peace and love, family. I'm actually waiting for, I'm actually waiting for my brother Bashir to come into the building. Let me make sure he doesn't have any technical difficulties. Hey, family, do you know like last night, the show last night? Okay. Yeah, he said he's having a, a little bit technical difficulties, but that's all right. We'll wait for him. Um, fam, did you realize that last night was one of them shows that was actually draining? Anybody? Anybody? Did it? Did it? Did you feel some type of way? Press seven if you felt some type of way. I mean, it was real draining, you know, to to witness, uh. To witness, a, you know, man, it's just hard to talk about because, you know, a lot of people have covered the story and it, it seems to be that it uh, it has just turned into a social media viral story um, where people cheering uh, for the downfall of, of polite, rightfully so. But the thing is, is that Polite would not have been able to do these things without the platform. You know, and I looked at some of the comments and people were like, oh, you wrong, GS, for blaming Sarnetta. No, 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 no. Sarnetta was aware of what he was dealing with and he continued to promote him and give him, him access to people and he would ultimately do the unbelievable. It's just what it is. So anybody that says that I'm wrong because I blame Sarnetta also, uh, I'm just going to have to be wrong according to you. But according to me, according to me, The moment that I found out, because listen, like everybody else, I'm not going to say like everybody else, because some people are more intelligent than me, I would imagine. So kudos for that. But when I first heard Brother Polite, I thought that he had something to offer to our people. Now. When you first introduce, when someone is firstly first introduced to you, uh, you introduce by sight and sound, the way they look and the way that they talk. And this lens of social media via your phone or your computer or whatever device that you use, it can lie to you. However, what you hear, you want to hope that someone is genuine when, you, when they're talking about advancement, when they're talking about achieving better today than what they had yesterday, you want to hope that, you know, that they are uh, on up and up. You know what I mean? And so when I first heard Polite, I thought he was on up and up. I thought that he was very charismatic, which always is a red flag. Uh, these charismatic speakers, to me, always a red flag. But I thought he was on up and up. But it didn't take me long, you know what I mean? It didn't take me long to figure it out. And I'm one that has a lot of patience. You know what I mean? I'm, I I wait it out. I ride it out, you know, to see, make sure that it is what it is. You know what I mean? I ride it out. But the point that I'm making here before I bring in uh, Brother Bashir, Imam Bashir, uh, the point that I'm making here is that the moment that I knew, without a doubt of contradiction, that this guy was a fraud. The first thing that I did was I reached out to him so he can return people money. And some of the money he did return on my word. The second thing that I did was refuted and expose the fraud. And anybody want to see, they can go back and check it out. So you might see a video or a picture where me and Brother Polite was together, but the, but at that time I never knew. But the moment that I knew, that was it. That was it for me. So when you got a person like Sarnetta that has access to thousands and thousands of people 
And he knows that this guy had indiscretion with underage girls. He say it out his own mouth. He knows that this guy was, see somebody say half naked in luxury cars is a red flag. This was before the half naked in luxury cars. The old polite didn't have the luxury cars. The old polite had the had the had the North African outfits on. <laughs> the old polite had the 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 um the sisters with the uh naturals. The old polite didn't have that. So it was a different polite what I'm talking about. Polite began to to evolve um into who he wanted to be uh soon after he hit H, -H O K. With that being said. Polite was able to do what he did because the platform allowed it. The platform allowed it. Like he could not, he would not be polite. Do, do anybody understand this point? He would not be brother polite without HOK and Sadnetta. This is a fact. That doesn't mean that he wouldn't be influential. That doesn't mean that he wouldn't have been doing his thing because he was doing his thing before HOK. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it gave him a bigger reach. It gave him a bigger celebrity. See, back then, see, this is why Tariq Nasheed infiltrated with Hidden Colors after calling people on 125th Dusty uh, Hoteppers. And then he infiltrated with Hidden Colors. Because the, the 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 knowledge that was coming out there before polite, it was very instrumental in waking people up. When when a when a camera got on somebody and a mic got in somebody's face, they were spitting knowledge that was getting to celebrities. They were spitting knowledge that was giving to getting to people of influence. They was did I mean when the commercialization came. That came with polite. When they seen that bag, that came with polite. With that being said, family, we're going to get right into it tonight. We're going to get it. We're going to get right into it tonight. I want everybody to share this, man. This is going to be a deep conversation. I'm going to interview my brother Bashir. Brother Bashir is in the building. I'm going to. And, 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 and it goes without. <clears throat> But for those that don't know, which I don't know how they wouldn't know, uh, uh, the great Imam, Brother Bashir, I don't know how they wouldn't know. But for those who don't know, Brother, tell everybody a little bit about yourself so we can get started, Brother. Peace. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I've been around for a little, a little some years now. <laughs> you Absolutely. Know? Yeah. <clears throat> but um, I'm Brother Bashir, in case you don't know. Uh, been a part of the house's consciousness. Uh, primarily, my my main home is uh, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, and um, yeah, man, we've been around the house of consciousness for about thirteen years. You know, when it when it begun, it's YouTube era. You know, like the uh, from the DVD era to the YouTube era. You know, um, I was I was fortunate enough, but unfortunate. Uh, to be a part of the, you know, the movement, and um, I'm ready just to get let, let me, some, let me some ask stuff here together. Brother Bashir, were you living in New York at the time? Are you from New York? Where exactly are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, okay. where I am now. Um, but I've been so moving all around, around this country because my brother, my brother in DC, be like, man, Bashir, he out this way now. But you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, 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 you know. One thing that I, I do is, um, one, you know, our, our, our uh, Aquadia Muslim community, you know, we have masters all over the place, so I'm always traveling. And then two, um, I do run businesses, legal businesses, legitimate business, and um, actually hire black people, you know, with the proper paperwork and all that good stuff. And, right. you know, a couple, a couple of offices and locations around the country. So, you know, all praise due to the most high. So yeah, man, we, we, we keep it moving and hopefully we'll keep growing. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's, well, that's, well, that's good. With that, that being said, I got to, I got to send my brother Musa a link. I don't even know if you're on tonight. 
<laughs> you know, uh, uh, my brother Baron Musa, I got to send him a link real quick. Um, yeah. But with that being said, um, let's take it back a little bit. Because mm. I got into the House of Consciousness and the DVD era where people mm. would come to 125th and they would buy a bunch of DVDs and the small conscious circles here in Baltimore uh, would purchase them from someone who had went up and then now they at the flea market mm. or whatever. And so ultimately I would go and get a bunch of DVDs and, and basically try to use it to raise money for the temple, for the more science temple of America. I knew it was mm. the next big thing coming. You know what I mean, I actually got arguing with my grand chic like we can't be selling these DVDs because, you know, Sinetta was actually bootlegging other people's yeah. product. And then he was mm -hmm. selling them, but he was selling them in bulk or you could buy them individual. But with that being said, uh, my grand chic, <laughs> you can't sell this in here. But I seen it coming. And so I was like, you know, we need to do our own thing. You know, here in Baltimore, mm -hmm. we need to do our own thing. But, you know, the elders here, they was more stuck into their ways. So I actually seen it coming. But anyway, with that being said, I watch it transition from uploading DVDs to actually standing out on one, two, fifth. And that mm -hmm. standing out on one, two, fifth live stream upload, they, it was first uploads and then it was a live mm -hmm. stream. You know what I mean? It was first mm -hmm. DVD uploads. Then it was recording on 125th and then it was live right on 125th so i've seen the whole transition right but you were there in the inception of the uploads of the yes, conversations you know, yes sir and, and you know so i need to backtrack that a little bit because i was aware of sign that uh, um with the DVD days through Solomon. Uh, a lot of people should know Solomon. Because yeah. Solomon actually introduced me to Sarnetta, you know. Um, so, you know, he was getting the DVDs. And at this time, I was living in Philadelphia, um, right where I am now. And um, Solo was telling me about Sarnetta and these DVDs, like you were saying. And, you know, so I thought it was um, as well as he did. And, and I guess everybody thought that, you know, it's a, it a platform to serve black people served the uh, so-called black man and woman's interests um, and tried to develop a level of consciousness and understanding and awareness as to what's going on, you know? And um, so so I was, I was aware of the brother and, you know, um, watching the DVDs before I actually, you know, did my first interview with the brother, you know? So I had some experience with, you know, Sinetta and the DVDs, but, I don't know if you want me to go with, but um no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Because okay. I want I want people to understand, like people say they was back with the VCR tapes. I seen the VCR tapes, mm -hmm. but I really come in with the DVDs. Um mm -hmm. but 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 what I what I'm what I'm trying to get what I'm trying to establish here, I wanted to ask you before we before you flow, do you remember when Polite first came on the scene? I think I can recall when he first came on the scene and Man, he was just rambling and mumbling, bubbling. He was just da, 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 da. do you absolutely. remember that? Absolutely, absolutely, one hundred and ten percent. Can you, can you, can you, can you capture that moment? Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the first time, the first time I met Polite, but we got to keep this in mind that you know I came to that circle with the intent of black nationalism. You know, with the intent of um, we can put the religious differences aside and we are we can actually you know um focus on some of the social ills that we are dealing with you know in our community so so i said well it doesn't take a whole lot to actually deal with the social ills you know so so meeting polite meeting ali muhammad i mean um uh uh who else natural tahuti um who else am i missing uh uh Inky. Baby Hebrew, um, Minister Inky, can't forget him. Um, you know, so that core group, Shaka Akmos, uh, Uncle Ket, uh, the Army Ross Squad, yeah. uh, even Garfield, you know, Garfield at a time. Um, not too active as in the live streaming and being on 125th from time to time, but, you know, he was more of a later, you know, shoe in. And um, 
Yeah. So, so I thought that it was really a, a, an amazing, you know, group of people. And I thought this guy was doing amazing things, you know, but when I met Polite, I, it was, um, and I did my first, first, um, I guess it was a battle, but it was, it was non-scripting. It was kind of thrown out there. And, and if Bro. people watch it, <clears throat> Bro, that was crazy though. I don't mean to cut your wisdom, but that was the unique thing about signing at a TV in the beginning. We thought it would be an organic conversation and it would mm -hmm. automatically be coerced by Sinetta into a battle debate and a back and forth rah rah. Mm -hmm. But in the, but yes. the conversation would start off as seemed like an innocent dialogue. They got me like that twice. Right. Right. But which 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 was which was okay, but which I'm gonna get into in a little bit, but the thing that I found out later, because when I first got there, my attention, I mean, well, my understanding was these are black men that love each other and you know want to try to support each other and have a good thing going, you know. And the first, the first interview um, um, battle, I guess I had with Polite, which was the first time uh, I really met Polite, was. Speaking on Allah and um, Islam in general. And then there was one part where Polite spoke about Allah having a womb. This video is still up. Allah having a womb. And then I responded to that, but it's not the response that's on line now. It's part of my response, but there was things edited out of it. But I had no understanding of things was getting edited because... So another TV was something that was on the side because my main Jamaat was where my focus was, you know. That was the, the community where on Friday mm -hmm. I led the, the, the Jamaat, you know, and things like that. Or led the Dawa or Tablik efforts to go out in the streets and pre preach to the people. You know, so so I did a lot of traveling with that and, and Jamaat Akbar did, you know, um, all over the country doing that. And so I was really busy into that work and I would go to sign Meta to, you know, um, wherever, wherever the people were, I was going anyway, you know? Um, so I, I wanted to link with them and get it going, but, but get back on track. So he did the video and, and after some time, cause I wasn't watching the videos after some time, that first interview, uh, I will say a few months back, a few months after that interview, um, Solomon said, Hey, I think they cut that, <laughs> you know? So I went to wa actually watch the mm -hmm. video and I said, he cut the response there. And when I went to talk to the brother about it, he told me that the camera had cut off and I knew the cameras would cut off like the batteries. Right. But come to find out that's not what he was doing, which we're going to get into in a, in a minute. But my first, first encounter with polite was very disingenuous, but I didn't know at the time because, like you were saying earlier in the, in the program, I I um, was giving them the benefit of the doubt, right. giving them the you know uh, well maybe this the cameras did cut off, maybe this was an accident, maybe the brother you know really believes what he was saying, uh, even though I'm trying to explain how it was a contradiction, you know, um, as to what he was saying, but uh, lo and behold. Um, as of the, the jail sentence, we can kind of kind of see <laughs> what we're going to get into. We can kind of see that um, he maintained the, the, so another and polite maintained the same disposition, which was we're going to try to distort the people's perception on what is really happening, and we're going to manipulate the people in such a degree that we're gonna sell them the narrative that we want them to have because we have our own agenda. Right. And this was something that was unseen at the at the time. You know, we did see the, um, at, the at, at the very beginning of this YouTube sitting on side of the couch, side of the studios, at the very beginning of that, it was, appeared to be innocent, you know? It, it really yeah. did appear to be innocent. That's right. Because you want people to know that, because, and I'm not gonna say that, so I never didn't put in um, some work, you know, um, but the more, the more I started to think, how, you know, because I had this perception of what Sinatra was doing, but I found out that 
this guy is really hustling the people. Because I thought these DVDs that the brother was selling was something that he was producing or, or, or getting. But really, just like you said, he was really literally stealing this from the elders and bootlegging it. And one time, so am I, this was the first time. And I said, well, maybe, because, you know, we, we know the Chinese was bootlegging movies like crazy, you know? So we were like, you know, maybe it's not so bad. But after we really thought about it, because um, uh, Solar had called me, he was like, he had spoke to, I forget, I forget the uh, professor. What's the, what's the brother that takes the trips to Egypt? Uh, been doing uh, a long time. Kwasi. Uh, say it again. I think his name Kwasi. That's not ringing a bell, but we're going to get his name. But anyway, he does these Cryptonomics tours. Know his name. What is his name? That's right. Ashra Kwasi. Ashra Kwasi. Ashra Crazy. Ashra yeah. Crazy. Yes, Ashra Crazy. Thank I you. butcher his name every time. Crip always got it right in there for me. Thank you, Crip. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, brother. So Ashra Crazy. But we're going to turn it up. It's going to get, the show going to get real spicy in just a moment. But Ashra Crazy. And so I said, man, if Ashra Crazy literally, uh, goes to Egypt and puts in the time and put in the money and then record these things and then bring all of that back. And then someone doesn't make a deal to try to sell it. You know, like, listen, I'll buy 50 for, you know, whatever the wholesale price is. But no, we're going to rip off the elders and, and bootleg their, their materials and get rich off the elders back. So we didn't know that this, this was happening because we was the YouTube era, but we didn't know it was in the, the depth of those DVDs. Because a majority of them was bootleg DVDs, you know. So he was already bootlegging consciousness. And so it's like, well, some people might be, may say, well, that's not too bad. But at the, at, the, at the core and root of what we're trying to do is to empower power Black people. So we have to protect the knowledge. We have to protect the, 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 the information that we are putting out to the people and we have to make sure that the people get supported and um, they're actually putting the work, especially the elders and the teachers. And as we go on in this program, we will see that they really allowed the elders to actually, oh, you know who I got a, I got a name to that always slips through the cracks? King Simon. And I, I, I'm sorry. Uh oh, King Simon is also a part of the destruction that we want to talk about, even though they all tried to deny it. Okay. But okay. It's, it's, okay, King Simon, he watching. No, I'm glad, I'm glad King Simon I'm watching. I'm sure he is. <laughs> because, because... I've been trying um, to get you for years, King Simon. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but King, King Simon also, and we're going to get into that later too, also will act... Like an innocent person, I don't know what's happening. I'm just a promoter. I've just given up, you know, I just set up the shows. They do what they want to do. It's a lie. All of the madness is or, uh, is orchestrated. So I'm, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. No, you're good. But, you're good. You're good. We, I think we very well can follow this scenario as we get into uh, the systematic process of this mm -hmm. rift. Uh, by yeah. this individual and as a collective, but that's good. I'm glad you mentioned King Simon because King Simon has has a, has a way of calling me anytime that I call him out or I make a wise crack. I kind of make a wise crack because mm -hmm. obviously I wasn't there, and so I'm just looking things that don't seem right and I call it out. You know, by the time that I come, it's in full swing. You know what I mean? I've never been right. a part of House of Consciousness, but by the time I come to speak on the behalf of the Moors, it's in full swing. I mean, I'm talking about mm -hmm. filling up auditoriums. I'm talking about 20 grand sold tickets and live stream. It's flowing, mm -hmm. flowing, flowing. But just to rewind just a little bit, you were on the couch with Brother Polite at one time. And I showed a the picture times. last night, the first time. Mm -hmm. I think it, I think it was the first time I showed the picture. The first time you was on the couch with him, maybe I don't know. Maybe I pull up the picture in a little bit. But the one, the one, the one when I had the uh, black and checkered shirt, and he was talking about religion. That was probably like the third or fourth time. Okay, now, now, yeah. now, how did how did you perceive H O K at that point when it went from the street to the couch? And now you're you're it's it, it's coming off like a like a a Jenny Jones 
type of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that it's not over the top yet, but yeah. you can see where it's going. What was that moment like? It, it was it started to become theatrical then. The, so that's, so that's, that's a no, good word. Literally, okay. Yeah, yeah, literally. It started to become like the WWE to such a degree where so that came to me one time and he said, he said, listen, and, and let me tell y'all, I just want to say this. Let me make this disclaimer. I understand what hearsay is. I understand what a lie is. I understand what manipulation is. But I also understand what truth is. And so that's what I'm doing here tonight because we still are going to stand for African-American people, black people, whatever you want to say, Morris people, whatever the category of metal, melanated people. We here, we were there for them in the past. We there for them in the present. We're going to be there for them in the future. So we're here to speak the truth, not to, uh, you know, try to destroy other black men. But what's have to happen today is that the black devil must be destroyed and pushed out and Absolutely. that's the reality that we're going to come to is that the manipulation um of the the knowledge and the, and the information just became theatrical like wwe it was it was not real you know so when we got to the couch even more things was edited more things i mean you'll be on a, a live stream and then after the live stream it's a it's a whole edited video you know, of uh, what happened. And and I remember one time, this was like the second time I went with, uh, I, I went with Polite. We're going to get back to the couch. But someone had called me, and he said, listen, we're going to be in Brooklyn. Come out here with Brooklyn, and we're going to do an interview with Polite. And it's like my second time. So, of course, you know, I said, you know what, I'll do it. What's going to be the topic? He says, well, this time, you can pick the topics. So I said, well, I want to challenge Polite on Money is my religion, because he was saying money was his religion, and the black woman was God. So I said, well, these two points are very destructive to our people, so of course I want to counter that with the information that I have, because that is going to lead our people further to death and destruction, further to destabilize homes, further to being um, inferior-minded. And, and and I'll get into those things for a moment because I was just like, how how could the dollar? And these are the, the people that were saying, you know, forget the religion, forget they enslaved us, they did all of these things. But then on the flip side, they made the dollar the god. And then <laughs> on the flip side of making the dollar the god, wait, wait, the fiat currency dollar, the fiat currency dollar. I'm not saying the dollar doesn't have power because of course it does, but. We're conscious, right? We're aware of some things. So we know that this is fiat currency. So gold is not the God, even though none of it should be. But the paper money became the God. So I said, man, this is very interesting. Figuring that we're already hustling, selling dope, doing whatever we have to do to get the dollar. Our women are already stripping in the club, you know, and the little things to actually get that same dollar. And so our people already see that dollar as something more than it actually is a god an idol you know what i'm saying so i said this is not a good thing and then making the black woman god was a very dangerous thing and i i i went there to brooklyn and god be my witness i did this debate and i was so prepared prepared on the street on the street and i'll make this be known Every time Polite and I was on the street, Polite was destroyed. This is not my comp, my own own confidence or you know ego. This is this is a fact. That the that um and I gotta come back to Harker with some of the stuff, but I'm in Philly because I'm on some business and I had a funeral with my aunt that passed away. So that's why I'm in the situation I, I am, you know, now. But when I get to my my uh that cave with the computer to have these things, I would like to come back and show them. So this this thing in Brooklyn, we did it. I was prepared. And Polite was just totally shut down because you can't win. He couldn't win that conversation. So when the video went up, he, uh, so I met her to, entitled it Polite like goes in on Imam Bashir. 
<laughs> and I said, okay, let me watch this video. And by, by Allah, swear to Allah, we were out there for about two and a half hours. About two hours of film. The video was probably like an hour or some change. Brother Bashir had literally about two minutes on that entire video of me having that debate. I said, oh my God. Not only did he cut my entire part out or one of those videos, like my entire thing, my entire thing. It was, it was, so I'll make a brother Bashir here, you know, we're going to have these conversations talk. And then it was like, that was it. The rest was polite. Like, hold up. What did brother Bashir say to any of that? Like nothing. And I never seen him cut it like that. I was like, whoa, bro, you just totally cut everything I had out. But nevertheless, those are the type of things we're going to talk about. But we're, we're going to talk about why, you know, they actually did that. And when you let me, just before we go, I'll answer your questions. But I guess I'm ready to just jump out the cage because yeah, I, I want to prove some. I, I, have, I have one more question. Mm. Actually, two. Um, mm. Were you able to see the show last night? That show, brother. First of all, you are the grand sheik in the building. You my grand sheik, brother. <laughs> you have proven, no, brother, you have proven, you know, that information can be fun. Information um, should be fun. And the, 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 just the production behind what you do is amazing, brother. I mean, yesterday yeah, I just was hyped. Bro. Hey, Come I had to prove you I'm humble, bro, because you because you a day one of HOK, and and and, and yeah. that's, that 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 humbles me, and I, it, it means a lot to me, and definitely I appreciate it. Um, yeah, but that, that production though last night, brother, it was powerful. The information was right on. Uh, it looked nice. I mean, everything but the cues was hitting. I mean, brother, you 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 you. I would I would have to say you just turned into the king of consciousness. I would I would have to say that the the. The the that crown gonna have to be passed over, you know, for real. Because uh, I think that you took the platform to where Sarnetta should have had the platform, you know, um, the direction and that the integrity behind it, you know. So that right there, brother, is is I mean, hats off, man, for real. May Allah bless you for that, for real. I appreciate real. that. What the question that comes with that, brother? I definitely am humbled, and I definitely appreciate that, uh, especially coming from you because you you've seen the changes, you have seen the growth of myself. Uh, you've seen the growth of mm -hmm. what's supposed to be the conscious community, what it could have been, what it should have been, what it ultimately ultimately could be. Um, mm -hmm. How did you feel about? hearing the sister give her impact statement it really bothered me it touched me it actually was emotional for me to even put that clip together how did it uh make you feel knowing that you was in the company of brother polite that's the first mm -hmm. question and the second question could you see that sort of a polite back in the day yes um, absolutely. As far as the sister, I mean, just like everyone else, hearing the story is just, you know, uh, and, and, and hearing her passion on delivering, you know, her impact statement. I mean, it, it, it impact statement. It impacts you. <laughs> you know, yeah, you go yeah. to feel like. So it, it, I, I think I, I feel like everybody else that was impacted with that, you know, because it, it was she, the thing she said was true. However, how, and 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 I'm, I want to be sensitive, and I'm trying to be sensitive. And this is not just to to her, but the wives are polite, which I want to talk about. You yeah, know, um, I don't want to name them. Yeah, we're going to get into all of that. Uh, the second part of that question, I'll let you roll. Um, did you see? Now I remember when they started getting looser in their dress. I seen it. You know what I mean? In fact, Aminette, she never was totally garbed as he would betray himself in Brooklyn uh, before the sign that. If you go look at the old video, she she had this something trying to be revealing mm -hmm. even then. Um, but I don't know if that would be enough. But did you sense when so so me meeting polite? I didn't see that polite. I seen a crook. 
I seen mm -hmm. a scammer. Mm -hmm. I seen a um a charismatic smooth talker. But I don't think I seen that polite. And and, and this is where I was going to. I'm sorry. And sorry. I was going to say, and that's what make it so dangerous in our community, because these they are supposed to fool us. That's the only way they can get away with what they get away with. They they have to be able to fool us. You know what I'm saying? But and you can flow from here. Could you, you know, and I want you to still you I want you to still kind of interject and help me flow absolutely, with it if absolutely. you want to. But um, I'm just trying to say, did you see that polite? You know, it was a vicious attack. The mother said that her daughter came back bruised. The mother said that the DNA should not be on her daughter. The mother said it, it, it seemed like it was some sort of a tussle. The mother said that she had drugs in her system that no human should ingest. The mother said that there was alcohol in her system. Uh, so we got bruises, we got alcohol, we got um, all of these things that's consistent with brutal um, taking of a child's innocence. Could you see that polite? Absolutely. Wow. And I'm going to absolutely. The floor, and yours, I, the floor is yours, brother. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to probably touch on it in a, in a little bit with the sister that made the impact statement, which n no one should do such hard, horrific things to anyone, child, adult. It just shouldn't happen. However, to for the blame to be placed totally on polite, um, I would have to say there's no way you didn't see that. There's no way that you didn't see that there's a probability that something could go very wrong because the entire circle was over-sexualized. And what I mean the entire circle was over-sexualized, this is not what I'm just trying to say or, or discredit or to um but when you're talking about the child part too because i can see the over sexualized i remember when i when i went up to uh 125th the second time i could see um i could see them lusting at european women walking down 20 125th oh yeah she, but got, she got some i could see i could see like the extreme um niggerdom <laughs> if you yeah remember. i mean you could see you could you could see that but i see yeah, but you was, you was in the mix. Systematically, mix. listen, I seen Polite systematically pan the camera up his wife, wives at the time, wives. And I mean, we're out there live with brothers. We're out there, you know, brothers, me, Sola, maybe Ali Muhammad, whoever, or 125th Street in New York City. And he would systematically put the camera and pan up, and that will go live, and that will go on a video on all his wives in the shape. But he also did that with his daughters. He also did that with his daughters. And I had a conversation with Polite. I said, listen, why would you expose your, your, your wives to the world? One of his response was, he's trying to fight homosexuality. This is literally what this fool was, was, was telling me. And I said, um, we probably need to rethink that. But that's, that seems like a lie. A lot of Texas says that's a lot. <laughs> then, even with with his little, the, the ones that we thought was his daughter, because I didn't know. Ones that we thought was his daughter, then it was like, no, that's not his daughter, that's his stepdaughters. The one both of them was there. I'm not going to name them neither. But when both of those, not his biological daughters, but when both of those um, sisters were in debt, I had to do that. So y'all know what I'm talking about. And her call sister. It, call it call it what it is. Call it what it is. Right. And, and her sister, they were, um, I assumed that they was his daughters at first. And then I seen that they was dressing just like the adults. And not only were they dressing just like the adults, the cameras was on them. Their own cameras were on them to promote the black woman was God and exposed the beauty. So the sister that made the impact statement and around a person that's conscious and very smart, 
very intelligent, i.e., this the guy polite, right? Which, which he was really an idiot savant. That's really what polite is, an idiot savant. So we could, like, they can look that up and find out what that means. But the system that made the impact statement, I'm like, this is why we have to really stop fighting against, yes, her. Well, she was younger, way younger than this. In this picture, she's probably maybe 17, maybe 17, maybe 18. I'm talking about when it was like 11, 10, 11 years old. You know, um, those ages, I watched those little girls. We spoke to those little girls, my family, my wife, my children, hang, hold up, hung out with them. When we did lectures, when we did debates, you know, our families will be together to such a degree where I'm just going to throw this in. I want to get back on the sister with the impact statement just for a moment. Um, there's no way you go into that circle. Look at that. Yeah, this is how they was at first and it started to transition. But as you can see, she got her little shoulder out and then the other little shoulder out. This started so innocently like that. But I don't know what year this was, but this is very early. It probably was 2010, 2011. But around 2012, 2013, the clothes started coming off on all of them. The, the clothes started coming off. And then, you know, as a Muslim, keep this in mind. We don't really drink, you know. Um, alcohol is forbidden for us, right? But, you know, they'll have their alcohol. And then it's like people drink. No problem. People drink. But I said, wait, y'all doing, y'all have, all, you have all these women. Now the clothes are coming off. Now they are walking with this sexualized uh, disposition and attitude. You know, they walking with heels on, quickly clacking down 125th Street. Brothers' heads is turning, you know. And um, this was the attention that was systematically given, that there was given this attention and told, look, this is how we going to do. And they enjoyed it and they loved it. And so with the sister, I'm like, I know, and I didn't get a chance to meet her. I didn't, because she's relatively new. But however, I know Polite's family, I know his disposition, and I know how they move. And I know for a fact that they all was, he was so proud to tell me like, listen, we do have sex with each other, all of us. My wives have sex with them. And, 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 and then he brought a guy. <laughs> when I knew something was wrong, he brought this sexual guru and had a lecture I remember. about a guy that can make women have orgasms without touching them. And this was a very big thing amongst the... Uh, Polite-ites, <laughs> you know? And I, I got it in the archives. Yeah, yeah. I so, the so, yeah, so he was pushing it, but you should have heard him talking that in the street. You know, like, yeah, this is what we could do to women. This is how we, without touching them. And so it just started more sexual, more sexual, more sexual. But what I, what I understood was sexual deviancy is bound to happen. We can see that in America already. So the more the society or the women and the men are sexualized, the, the, that is what opens the door to child molestation, rape, um, pedophilia, et cetera. Those are the things that really open the door to that. This is statistically true, as well as religiously true. You know, so, so the, the thing with the sister with the impact statement is... All of them, to a degree, are very reckless. All of them, to a degree, are very reckless as it pertains to truly understanding um, how to protect a family and how to keep predators off your off your 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 women and your children. Period. And you don't do that by exposing them to the world. You don't do that by um, letting 13 year old girls, 14 year old girls dress like um, a 25, 25 year old woman that's going to a club when she sh that 25 year old shouldn't even go. You know, so it's like we have to become actually become conscious. How about we do that? Because this person is saying, don't follow, you know, 
um, those Moorish men that that cover themselves. Don't fo don't follow that way of you know having integrity on the way you dress. The, the, the Israelite women, for example, don't follow the example of maybe the Muslim women or the Akhmadi women that cover themselves and veil themselves. Don't follow that way. Let's go with the way of exposing nakedness because we did that in Africa. And when I heard them say that, I said, what kind of fools are we dealing with? First of all, we are in the United States of America. And in this part of the town, your women and children are not safe. They're not safe. And particularly when it comes to uh, um, sexual transgressions. You know, and, 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 and so, but check this out, because I got some notes, so I don't get lost. But then on top of all of that, we found out that he was not only a student, but a student, I don't think he was a literal, well, he, he was at Tamaray, so he was a part of that movement. But he, try, he really was trying to embody the essence of Dr. York. But then I said to myself, well, who is this man, Dr. York? And doing some more research, and I'm like, wait a second. This man was convicted for the same sexual deviancy that we speak about or speak against. And this person is following them. Not only is he following him, he bore witness on video, which I knew then, bore witness on video that if, in fact, he thought Dr. York then molested a thousand children, I think that's what he said. That's what he said. He still will respect him, love him, and honor him because that's who saved him. That's who saved him. So I said, wait a second. Here's a guy that says the black woman is God, but he will throw, throw the seeds that come from their wounds under the, the, the bus for one black man. So I was like, it seemed like that man is your God and not these women. Because if it was, you would do something to protect them, I would, I would suppose. So, you know, so all of those things added up. It was, okay, you came in, it was African dress. You, you, you look like a, 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 a Muslim, you know what I'm saying? Got a kufi on, got a, you know, Jill Bob on, and just a dashiki, maybe something like this, you know? And then, boom, it turns to Hollywood. Clothes come off, then supporting the Dr. York position. So I never also knew this, because he re recorded this, filmed this, that this man is saying, he would, he would still love, follow, honor, and respect as he did. The man, yeah, he would dress like that. The man, but that was before Simon the TV. <laughs> that was right. before Simon the TV. Well, yes, sir. Hey, hey, Brother Bashir, you know I got the archives deep. <laughs> your, your, hey, your ammunition is long, brother. I'll be scared of if anything come up like man don't let this guy get it. <laughs> he, he gonna go all the way all the way but yeah so um, nevertheless so I never knew and understood polite position he knew and understood what was taking place he knew and understood that this man wants to be uh, Dr. York to the extent that he called him little Dr. York and during these times this is when I first started hearing like, hold on, what's going on? Because I didn't know, you know, I thought we was on Black Power and then we doing this and now all of a sudden things are creeping in. What they doing in the dark is coming to the light. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, this stuff coming to the light that is going to destroy our communities and we cannot allow them to destroy the community. So I tried to battle in a way, in a debate format, but every time we did it, he would cut the videos. He would, he would manipulate that. The same thing he tried to do in court to get the lawyers to get that impact statement not to be heard, get people out of the courtroom, that was their, their MO whole time. That's exactly what they did whole time. This is nothing new. That was the play, and I knew that was the play. I was like, he gonna try to keep this out of the, out of the public, 
out of YouTube, and Simon is going to try to assist that. Period. I knew that when it when when the, the case started. I said, Sinetta, that wicked damn devil, Sinetta, because he's wicked. I mean, I never I never seen a black man personally so wicked to where you would rather deter the people that is watching the, the viewership that is watching to allegedly come and educate themselves, to come to get uh knowledge that can edify themselves but really you want to have them like a a, a, a judas goat so so when when they when they have a goat slaughtering they train one goat to actually lead the sheep to slaughter it's called the judas goat it's a real thing so this goat is trained to walk through the pen and turn right when the rest of them go left to get their heads chopped off. So this is exactly what, uh, unfortunately, Sanetta um, and Polite were doing to manipulate the people. So the people really should, really should be more pissed because we could have stopped or prevented the sister, daughter that just happened two years ago. We probably could have prevented that if we would have stood on real principles years ago before that happened. That's just a fact. When we all were saying, um, you, had, you even had ISUPK, Chazaria, you had people like the religious people were saying, why would you allow them to dress like this? We, th this is how the prostitutes dress in our community. This is how loose women dress in our community. Shouldn't we represent something different? But no, they were already on that loose frequency way before they got to sign of the TV. Because once you hear the stories of Brooklyn and what was happening in Brooklyn before sign of the TV, if you know those story and that history, you will see that their whole MO was, we got to find a game plan to get out the projects. Because they was in the projects, according to Blake, him and his wives. And the plan was, by any means necessary, you know, um, we're going to get out of these projects. So why is this important? I just want to go here. Let's go here real quick. Right. Because we will say things like this. That's true in America, right? We will say things like this. That's true in America. That's factual. Say, listen, all right. So here's some statistics, right? So child abuse, right? They say that one in three girls are sexually abused before the age of 18. One of three, right? So we know these statistics. We've been talking about statistics a long time at the House of Consciousness, you know, and what's happening in the community, et cetera, et cetera. Now, check this. One in five boys are sexually abused before the age of 18. Rape, one in six American women and one in 33 American men are raped. And then in, in, in 2019, over 652,676 women were raped. Over 40% of the women in the U.S. have encountered sexual violence. Nearly 80% of females and sexual assault victims experienced their first assault before the age of 25. Around 20% of American males have been the victim of sexual violence. A quarter of Male victims of sexual assaults were under the age of 10. Less than 20% of rapes are reported. Nearly 20% sexual assaults were reported in the military last year. Just going to stop that real quick. Wait, no, let's, let's do this last one. Approximately 70 women commit suicide every day in the U.S. following an act of sexual violence. Now, these statistics are things that we will bring up, you know, as to, to explain why you wouldn't want to do such a thing. But nevertheless, they tried to and did stop the information from coming to the people, which was a bigger problem because all of that was countered. But Polite and Sarnetta systematically said, we're going to stop the information from getting out to the people 
because we're getting this money. This is the way we want the people to go. And that's just that. And so they will always speak about more science, Islam, Christianity, Israelites, etc. Anything dealing with the most high, dealing with the concept of religion, they will try to destroy that. And I said, well, why would you try, literally said, why would you try to destroy something that you know have much benefit, even if you think that the, it, it has a lot of negative connotations, but we do know that a lot of the things that are happening in our society inside these books, these, these guidance, either one you pick, even the circle seven, even the circle seven you know, gives Go ahead, go ahead, bro. I, I was gonna say, you know, you know what you know what stood out to me about the so so Sonetta have reached out to me quite a few times when I uh you know put my big mouth into uh uh the the conversation. You know, like I said, I, I, I pretty much just wanted to uh defend the integrity of the more science temple of America as I've come to know it and uh the teachers of the prophet Noble Drew Ali as I come to know it, not as we see it uh so crazily on the internet. And so uh, quite a few times Sonetta reached out to me to debate polite, you know, um, and one of my thing was my first thing was, is like, you can't pay me nothing. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we can go half on a venue, but you're not paying me nothing. That's number one. Second sure. of all, one of the things that always was a brick wall that he wanted to debate me about something about Morris science. But when I would say, well, what is your core belief? He didn't have one. He mm -hmm. would say that he follows Doc, but then, but I knew New Wabians. I knew transitions of Dr. York's movement. And so mm -hmm. he would be kind of all over the place. Now he knew some key stuff. You know what I mean? Like he got a photographic memory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he knew a lot yes. of key stuff that, um, right. that Dr. York taught uh, in the in the in the, in the in the in the box because he was in a box in the box that he was in polite however when i tried to get into okay what is your core belief he really couldn't explain it so i said so you're going to interrogate me and i said it live a few times so you just want to interrogate me but now i can't interrogate you because you saying that you don't believe this part but you believe this part and you don't believe this part but you believe this part so mm -hmm. and then i would say to sonetta this is how i knew it was crazy uh what do you believe? I believe in black power. What does that mean? I couldn't really get anything out of any of them. And so to your point, now it makes so much sense to me why they would move in the direction of trying to disqualify everything that was on the ground that's in our community that would be religion to them because no one could go back and challenge what they would say. We were all, when you go back and look at the videos, everybody was defending their position, <laughs> but there was right. no way to even mm -hmm. counter and get them to defend their position. And that mm -hmm. uh, that's a clear sign of COINTEL. That's a clear sign of being an operative of changing the narrative. Like you say, they stopped teaching. And then it came to the point where everybody was defending. If you were, were, were a Muslim, you was there to defend it against polite for the most part. If you was a Hebrew, you had to defend it against polite. If you were more, you had to defend it against polite. And, and if you're starting to bust them upside the head, now you're going to defend it against polite and side netter. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but right. yeah, I thought that was very interesting that you said that because uh uh it seemed like everybody had to be on the hot seat as opposed to what a real debate is about. A real debate is yeah. about uh, I'm gonna challenge your belief, you can challenge my belief, mm -hmm. and we'll meet on center street and see what makes sense. But that wasn't the case. That was exactly case. exactly and, and I'm glad that you yeah. oh, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. No, 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 I want that thought yeah, right there. Go ahead. Go. Go ahead. I want. I'm not, I wanted that thought. Right? Do you say I'm glad that you? I got the question. I can hold it. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad that you. I'm glad you brought it up. Um, like th their positions, you know, like you, you couldn't pin them to like. Where do you really believe and stand on? Right. I thought that at first, and I was like, "What are they standing on?" But like you said, 
I, I, I had said to nothing. I said, these guys not stand on nothing. But that was incorrect, too. I said, these guys told us, but we missed it. Money was the God. There you go. That, 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 was, the, that, was, that was really the thing. Cloaked under black consciousness. Cloaked under that. And, and I was offered contracts. <laughs> That was inside that. <laughs> I did a, I did a, an interview. I forget what one it was. It was an interview. And he comes to me. He comes to me. He like, yeah, Bashir. Um, uh, his wife too. His wife too. Who? Uh, he said Bashir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who came to you? Um, Sanetta or or polite? Sanetta. Not Miss Sanetta. No, no shade at Cynthia. But you know she, I love Miss cool. Cynthia. I always say I, 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 I cool. like it. But well, Cynthia tried to get me that contract. <laughs> Cynthia ah. tried to get me that contract. Yes, she did. So, so Sada, after we did the interview, Sada came and he said, listen, I want you to sign a contract. And it was like some rights over my, you know, uh, the, the, the stuff I do. And I can't forget, remember the terms, but the terms were so stupid. That's why I can't remember it, because it was so long ago. And I was like, bro, you can take that contract and shove it. Because one, I'm, I'm a Muslim. We do this for free, for one. We do this for free, for one. For two, for you to box, try to box me in in a very one-sided like deal, I was like, hey, ain't no way I'm doing you, that. He's trying to get you to 360. <laughs> yeah. This this is his wife. His wife came and said, um, Brother Bashir, you should take the contract and just sign it, brother. No, Miss Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Sister Cynthia, love you, sis, for the sake of the law, but no, I'm not signing that contract. And we and we had never spoke about it after that. And then it was, we had to wear, <laughs> the Israelites have their Power Rangers thing going on. The Moors had a fans thing going on. But sure, you're a Muslim, but you'll be wearing like the those and stuff like, like that, you know? So why don't you wear that more often? And, and then I said, I said, hold up, bro. So, so, Bashir, what you're describing here is um, characters for a production. Characters for a production. It became characters. It was coming to the streets. That's battle. That's talk. Get information, which was good. That was good. Um, unless you were going to get polite, then you won't cut it all up. But nevertheless, um, it was it was pretty good. Doing that, but that lasted about 2.5 seconds. And then the theatrics started to come. The theatrics started to come, and it was, if you're not wearing this, or and then literally to the point where it was, <laughs> um, Brother Bashir, we want you, it was positions they would want me to take that was counter my position. I was like, how you gonna want me to take a position that's counter my position? And then, you know, um, it was the it was the trying to buy me, like real talk. Like, but I was like, hey, we'll give you, I forget, I forget how much. He was like, we'll change your name to not suit something, something, something. And, and you, and, and it's on video. It's actually on video, part of it. I got to find it. It's on video of him saying that, you know, and, you know, you could be a part of our, you know, our thing. You know, and of course he gave some of why. And then I told the brother, I said, brother, I will never do that because I know that y'all, go, you, you guys are going down. I, I, I don't know where it's going to go, but I know your direction is going to go down because we already see it in America. Our people don't need to see your wives naked because we can, we on 125th Street. All the women are naked. All the men are already doing that. So what? We need to see you with cars. We already see the cars. In fact, if you are on the lower end of things in the hood, the drug dealers got the good cars. And we're trying to, you know, um, attach to that. So BET showing us all of the naked women, the cars, the money, 
all of that. It, we already see that. You know what I'm saying? And then how people are so silly because at first it was, you know, UCC. And it was sovereign this. You can get this paperwork and you can, you can do this. And Polite was selling them. And then I even, I'm on a video saying it too. I'm going to find it. Well, I was like, well, if y'all want something to buy like that, I'll get it cheaper. We'll give it to you for $19.99 instead of $2,000. Brother Bashir, <laughs> that's what huh? brought me out of the temple onto mm. the internet. Because a lot of that stuff they was associating with Moorish. And that was the main reason because I was watching that. I was like, nah, this ain't it. <laughs> this has nothing to do with Moorish science. Nothing. And polite not even being a member of the of the of the of any particular Moorish group. But even they would associate what he was doing to be associated with Moors. And little do people know, even to this day, it's still hard for people to understand that that has nothing whatsoever to do with Moorish science. Because that's how deeply ingrained it's been put into people's mind that it has something to do with Moorish science. It has nothing whatsoever to do with it. And when Polite was doing that, I was like, I thought he was, at that time, I was like, well, maybe he been exposed to something wrong you know but the guy mm. seems to be brilliant and he's maybe just exposed to something wrong but you know as time would show that I, I thought that too. Hustle to hustle yeah i thought that too until the fool was saying no nah, if you buy this <laughs> this ucc <laughs> no nah, you get that <laughs> you are free yeah ali Muhammad was more. doing it too that's right ali, yeah, yeah. Ali Muhammad, oh, oh yeah and i i I was chopping him up about that. Even Ali Muhammad. He was another one, but he I think he jumped off. I think he jumped off it quick because I did a whole thing with him because he tried to go to Canada some years back when we all was together. He tried to go to Canada. And then I, I don't know which one of them called me. It was like, hey, Ali Muhammad can't get into Canada because he'll have a passport. He tried to use a paper. I remember that. And, and he had a debate with some he Moors he had over debate. there. It, that's right. I remember that. He had a debate with uh, the Canaanland Moors. Yes, he couldn't get the Canaanland Moors. Yep, yes. I remember. He couldn't get across the border. So I said, but he came home. Ali Muhammad, I'm not going to beat him up too much because even though he tried his little flim flam scams for a second, I think he was intelligent to know that don't go down this path. And he stopped, like, I'm not going to, you know, really go down that path. But that's how I feel. But but nonetheless, nonetheless, um, talking about these guys has got me all over the place. So let me get no, it's good, bro. It's good, bro, because I, mean, I think a lot of people, one, one thing that I remember, one thing that I, I, I bear in mind about doing social media, you have a lot of people that are joining now and they many you got mm -hmm. half that can remember and then you got half that almost yeah. was duped you got another mm -hmm. group that have been duped and then you have another group like wow this is interesting so you know mm -hmm. our like people say why do i keep doing all these videos about someone mm -hmm. all the videos about someone because i understand that social media that new people are mm -hmm. tuning in all the time so this is new information i to mm -hmm. me you may helping me to reminisce like hey i remember do dude got stopped at the border <laughs> he couldn't get to the border with this fake paperwork you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah this is all good um but i want to rewind real quick brother now, i want to ask you something about Aminette. so when i met Aminette here in baltimore um, her and Polite, they did a lecture here in Baltimore. And um, it seems to me that Aminette was like the manager. Like, somebody asked me, the reason why I'm bringing this question to the table, somebody asked me and said, do, what do you think about Aminette? You know, uh, you think he played her too? And I said, no, bro. I said, she appears to be the brains of the operation, the manager of the operation, and he seems to be the face of the operation, whatever that operation mm -hmm. would be at any given day. Mm -hmm. What is your take on Aminette? You know, she all when I seen her, she always was very observant. 
She paid attention to every book that was sold. You know, he he would line his books up. Whenever he do a lecture, he'd come with his duffel bags or his boxes. He would line his books up. Um, but she would pay attention to everything. She wouldn't say much. And she would smile. And as he's working the crowd, she would be right there. But she would be observed. I mean, she had a very meticulous uh, observation. But what, what was your take on her? Um, my, my take, I, I didn't see that per se. What I seen was a, 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 a help me. And I think she was following polite. And there was a help me. And it was like, look, we're going to make this happen. You know, uh, whatever we got to do. I think that was the that was the attitude because um, I, I did have a little bit of admiration for how they did move at one point because, you know, they would travel. You know, they would travel and go do their little lectures or whatever. And the, the, the family was there. And they didn't have really good cars at the top. You know, they had some, uh, like a Suburban and there was a piece of you know, hopefully it will make it. I, I didn't make it a few times, you know, um, broke down, you know. And um, so, you know, I seen them, uh, um, I think, just working together and, and had a goal and a mission, um, the entire unit, which was um, a positive thing, of, I think, of the whole situation, you know, um, how you move collectively with, you know, with your family. Um, but... This is what I'm saying, but they all was on the same mindset, the same accord, because, um, and, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I think it's very important because um, it, it was a time, and I'm not saying you, you sisters, you have to do this, or brothers, you have to get your wives to do this, but um, my wife was wearing niqab at the time, and I didn't make her wear niqab. She just wanted to wear niqab. Um, she went through her phases of what she wanted to wear as a Muslim woman. And, you know, it was so, uh, we were so disgusted with how they were filming, you know, the wives and the, and the, and the we, we looked at them as little girls, like got them little girls in spandex title, you know. And um, so my wife said, listen, because me and Polite was supposed to set up this debate. And we're talking about this debate. And I told the Polite, uh, I want to add our wives to the debate. My wife won a debate if this, her way of dressing or her way of dressing, which way is more produced of, uh, uh, will produce a better woman in a better society. And I said, man, I would love to see uh, some women, you know, have that discussion. And I, and I think it would be a, 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 a really good debate. And so I met her. He, he thought it would be really good. Polite, he thought it would be really good. And then they went somewhere. They had a conversation. And we got a call that, no, nah, we don't want to do the that part of the debate, you know. And I was like, well, why wouldn't we do that part when there's something that, you know, um, is uh, really applicable, really needs to be paid attention to in our community, you know. And so they didn't want any real stuff to come out. Um, it, it, even when you look at the ISUPK, uh, IS, uh, uh, UPK and uh, polite debate, I really can't remember what they was debating, but it was nothing that really pertained to raising black people or our I family. Think, I think the highlight of the debate was uh, Cap saying he's parading his wife around like a whore. <laughs> That's the only yeah, part yeah. Remember. That was the highlight of the debate. That's the that, only that really was the highlight of the debate. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't one, even know what the one. topic was either. To, to be yeah, honest, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> right. Because because this is what we were saying. We were saying we already have that. You know what I'm saying? We already have what we know is not is not is not successful. We already seen that goes nowhere. So yeah, man. So and and, and as time went on, we we did, you know, Sonetta TV, it did reach, you know, black people. You know, and at the time, and then it was a time, I guess around 2014, 15, um, a little before that, um, celebrities started to get into the mix. And not just were polite, with all of us. We, you know, um, there was a group of celebrities that liked uh, me, 
uh, Ali Muhammad, you know. Uh, so we all got celebrity friends through that funnel, you know, and uh, by watching Sign on the TV. And, but the ones that I am still friends with today, I never spoke about or pushed that because those are my friends. It's not to m manipulate or try to, you know, use the clout to um, bring some so-called success. Now, I don't mind if, if that does happen, but we are here trying to raise consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So, so my position was, I'm not trying to be the celebrity because that world is really, really dangerous anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like that famous celebrity stuff right there, that stuff is hell. They are not successful in nothing. Their marriages. Celebrity. What, if, if any, maybe you know, I don't know. I've always wondered this and I gotta ask, what was the word that happened with Ron Artest? Because one of the first mm -hmm. celebrities that you would see within the conscious circle was polite rocking with Ron Artest. Mm -hmm. And they appeared to be tight. They, they, they both appeared to be uh, uh, real cool. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. no more Ron Artest. And, and you know what? I'm, I've always yeah. wondered, did Polite swindle him? Because he just disappeared. He was talking about building communities with New Covenant. He was a member of New Covenant. Mm -hmm. The video's still out there. And then he just disappeared. So yeah, just, and, and that, and, and people, because I know there are new people, you know, so you should be, go back and do some research on this stuff that we're talking. Yeah. And, yeah, and a lot of you should, should refresh your memory of what's being said here today. Because the entire time he was Sinetta and Polite were the wizard behind the curtain. And, and he thought that, oh my God, these words. And, and, and people were saying it. Everybody was saying it. Oh, he's using words. And you know, these, these five syllable words. But sometimes, a lot of times, he's putting them in the wrong place. Like, only a few of us understood that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's using some of these words incorrectly, but he is intelligent. Don't get that twisted. The boy can remember, and he has some information. He's an idiot savant because the, the information that he's pushing is leading to nowhere but, but to so-called Rolls Royce Diaries. Right. That's, that's it. And, and the that, thing that's is, all it was leading to. When you're talking about Metta World Peace, Ron Artest, they actually had a live argument, uh, Polite and Sinetta, because Polite would not speak on Sinetta's behalf for Ron Artest to help him get, out of all things, a Sinetta TV news, man. I got the video. It, it was, <laughs> they was beefing on that. And he yeah, was and, and, and like, like, because he wouldn't give him the plug. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, but they deserve that. You know, everything that happened with the Sarnetta and, and the Polite, it, it's deserved because what we have to understand here tonight is that they pull these are black devils, man, with that, that gave the impression that they're really for black people. But they're not. And they're still going to have a group because the devil, the, the hell is filled with the devils. Yeah. So Satan yeah. got, Satan has followers. We ain't, you know, don't be like, oh, he's getting spooky. I'm just, I'm just talking. You can no, get no, the no. point. The, the, the point, the point is, and, and I get your point very clearly. And I say this and, and I say it in a different way that with social media, uh, grabbing the attention of so many millions, there is always going to be a handful of followers that's just not going to let go. And there's going to be a handful of newcomers that may be familiar with the old legacy that was established, that was to be respected, and they think that that's still the same thing as of now, when they see a sign that, oh, sign that, uh, sign that have been doing this, such and such, sign that, and you're still going to have people bigging them up. Da, da, da. So they're going to come in thinking that this is the depot for information, but they're going to be sadly 
they might don't even care. Right now, it's all about entertainment. Many people don't even care. Yeah, exactly. Don't even care no more. But I wanted to get back to the point. When I seen the interview with Brother Polite and his two wives on uh, uh, Jesse, I forget the guy's name. His name is Jesse something. Uh, he's a very rude guy. Uh, uh, he's a preacher. Uh, and I oh, yeah. Him. And 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 basically, when I heard Aminette say that, how, when he asked polite, how did he meet his second wife? I forget her name, the other wife. And um, basically, polite explained how Aminette actually helped bring the second wife into uh, the fold, and the, the evidence showed that she was like nineteen. Rayat, yeah, Rayat. Right. Um, I say all that to stay when I no, put right, right at the trial. No, oh, hold up real quick. Right, no, she wasn't 19. Not not I think she was 16. Oh, yeah, she was young. Okay, got you. Got I you. think she was like 16. No, no, literally like six. He was either 15 or 16. Wow, wow. Yes. I didn't know that. So yeah, that, that's that's a fact. We're gonna pull the quote. We're gonna get that. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I want I want you to, to stay right there with me. Stay right there with me. Um so when I seen when I seen that interview, it took me back when they were in Baltimore, and I was like, "Yeah, she was really like the overseer." You know what I mean? And then when they went to LA, you started seeing all of these different faces. You know, they would they would be like revolving doors, and I'm saying to myself, "I seen the interview, and I'm like, is she?" in cahoots and grooming these women to accept the unacceptable you know oh that's a fact that part that, is a fact so that's what yeah. i'm saying is, is she a part of the would you say in your opinion this is only opinion this is not accusing anybody of anything this is only opinion from experience and from mm -hmm. eyewitness accounts would you say that she was intricate in a part of the grooming process of some of these women because it became a revolving door of women all of them all of them because because the the how the structure of the family was according to polite what he what he said was Aminette is the queen wife that means she's the yeah. number one num number uno you know she's day one and then so so the rest had to come to Aminette uh, uh, it's, it's a fact that's just a fact you know right. um and then it got to a point where where um, I think that Aminette didn't have any more uh, control because or or options because um, it's like when the college thing happened, you know, it was it was a free fall. You know, it was like it was like you know, uh, I'm a party like a rock star, and then all the women you can see the videos. You know what I'm saying? So, but I was telling, but but these were discussions that we was having years ago that we knew what would happen. That's why I'm I'm so I heard. Me, I hold firm to this Quran because I was telling it like, look, it's giving this guidance on these particular things, and it's going to lead you into a very bad place, and it happened. But it was already happening, and and, and, and the people, people, we got, we have. To, listen, how many more times are we going to have this happen in the community? How, how many more? Especially with the so-called house of consciousness, because it it only produces wickedness and devils and inmates. That that that's what I want to tell you, brother. That's bro. Do you have something else running? Because somebody said we got some feedback. Is it, am I feeding back on your side? Are you Let good me, now? Check check check. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So so, brother, let's go back, bro. I want to I want to give a shout out to uh, Natural Tahuti. You know. Um, his daughter had reached out to me one time, but then everything stopped. Uh, I definitely want to want to see how we could actually help, uh, uh, maybe even do something on the show, you know, to help support the brother. I don't care if it's uh, to get him some debbies to make his day a little bit easier. So I definitely want to get back on that. But nevertheless, um, have you spoken to or been in contact with anybody who has been in contact with Natural Tahuti? Before I get to my next, I question. haven't for a while, man. Uh, I, the, I think the last time I was on your program before, well, or the time before last, I sent him a, the brother a letter, 
and I never got a response. And I should have followed up again. And I guess I'll get back to, you know, um, doing that. Because when we was doing the show, I was actually thinking about the brother. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. That's what it produced. Because I don't care who you name from Sarnetta House of Consciousness. The people that were, I'm going the path of Sarnetta, those people are destroyed. Just like right. the cross saying about the devil. So look, Tahuti, that was Sarnetta, 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 Sarnetta. I mean, like that. And, yeah, and, and Natural Tahuti was talking about doing uh, House of Consciousness West Coast. Everybody. Yeah, he actually did. He actually did do House of Consciousness, House of Consciousness West. He actually did, which was a whole nother thing. But nonetheless, I watched them. They're so called homie, they so called boy, and polite, and polite. With Sarnetta had the money, polite had the money, and 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 me and Tahuti was having discussions, and we'll get in contact with him. He'll be able to bear witness to this. But we have the records anyway. We have the records anyway. But we discussing, having talks. We all was talking to each other. You know, it was a circle. We, we was the ones that were debating, talking, you know, on the phones regular. So Tahuni called me and he said, you know, he was having financial problems. And he said, you know, Polite don't want to have a debate with me like out here in Cali. So I could try to get some bread too, you know. And then he said, well, Bashir, will you, you know, can we set up something? And I said, of course, bro, I would do it. One. I would love to debate this subject, and I think it was the patriarch mother, the the uh, matriarch mother, or something like that, you know. But um, but I say of course. But shortly after that, the brother was arrested. But the brother, and I'm not, he had responsibility, but and accountability. But the brother was literally reaching out, like, listen, I'm struggling, I need some help. You ain't got to do much for me. Just give me a show. You know what I mean? Just give me a, give me a debate or something. And I can feed myself, you know, and, and get back on my feet, whatever. Polite didn't do that. Didn't want to do that. Because they wicked. Sarnetta didn't want to do that. Because he wicked. Yes, I'm sure he'll say, oh, when Tahuti got locked up, I sent him $100 for commissary. You know what I mean? Yeah, he'll do that. But you ain't get the boy the $100 when he was on the street. So he can feed himself and the family. And that's why he was trying to do House of Consciousness West, trying to build something else for himself. Now the man doing what, 40 years? Something like that. Then you got this fool polite. Now he about to do what? Seven years? Then you have, then you have this fool, so-called Dr. Reggie, who can openly be destroyed and proven wrong on his positions on whatever it is all the time but he remains a doctor because he got some computer degree in Flintstone times but nevertheless these people are just manipulators King Simon more just money I want to no I was just promoting polite you're like inky another damn liar when it comes to polite it's just a uh, fact. Inky and too? Inky. Now, I didn't go too hard on Inky at first, but as I, you know, uh, I'm talking before this this time, this uh, hindsight 2020, this some years ago, I was like, well, Inky, you was with Polite whole time. And I'm talking about with the first wife, daughter that ran away. See, we knew that. Before it got on the air, that vibe was already going with side another between the circle. So we already hearing about that girl, father, you know, pulling up at the store and polite was in there. And, you know, we were crying, you know, that's what side another said, you know, polite was crying. But my point is, is that we already seen what was happening with polite, man. It was always a scam. Uh, King Simon was behind that too, for the money. Yes, he did promote it. Yes, that's what was what he was doing. But he also was covering for the foolishness of 
uh, that that Polite was doing. So he was because so once again, he's, he's not King Simon. You're, you're you're saying that King Simon was fully fully aware of the intent behind the misinformation, disinformation that was attracting the people to get the finances out of it and keep it pushing. It's 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 a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. King, in fact, some years ago, King, I talked to King Simon. I said, Simon, every event that you do, you do like um, Dr. Blair, you know, um, Phil Valentine. He, he did those type of things. And then polite, polite, polite. To such a degree where we started to see at one point the producer with a new covenant shirt on. <laughs> We're like, hold up, hold up, King Simon. I thought you was just a producer. But now you got a whole, you got the whole unified outfit on. And no, you got to sync with that Titanic, bro. You sinking with that Titanic. All of the main group, they have to sync because they all stand, stand together in wickedness. And believe you me, they are going to dig polite out of jail mentally and make it to where he didn't do it it was a conspiracy he tried to buy tubi that's what they're going to be trying to do that's what they did with dr york sonetta did that with dr york it was dr york was guilty from sonetta love to nah i don't know no he wasn't it really wasn't that Nah, it was something else about the, you know, crossing the state lines. It was, then you play the video of Dr. we like, bro, we can go to YouTube and play the video of Dr. New York confessing him what he's confessing to. But just like what Polite did in that courthouse, this is what, that's, that's, that's the number one play they got, is deflection and uh, divide and conquer for their own benefit. So Polite took you from mathematics and school as hell and all of that talk to CCC, SUP, Element OG to get that talk. And then he ends up saying, you know what? The hell with all of that. Somehow he ends up being a creditor. So, somehow at the end of the spectrum, he ends up being a creditor. Like where the hell that come from? And not to say, excuse me, not Man, to say. You got, you got to say right, bro. <laughs> You know, like, like seriously, you know, so it's like um, the flim flam was in the whole time and the whole new covenant thing. We seen that trash from the beginning. Like, OK, this new covenant thing, it has some rotation. But if you was in a circle, maybe six months after they started making T-shirts with that new covenant thing, as, as quick as it went up, it fell. Bro, and bro, being I a real... Bro, it was a guy. I can still hear the background. It was a guy, right? Well, let's see if you get the background. Check, check. Do I need a headphone? Yeah, yeah. You got headphones? Nah, no, not it's okay. it's, I, I'll mute you. Yeah, yes. That's all right. I'm gonna mute you. So, 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 look. Um, so back again to Baltimore. So the lectures in Baltimore, and then he has it's Aminette, it's the um the girl, uh the sister that supposed that broke her arm. Uh, uh, I forget her name, v Valentina, Val whatever her name is. The lights, one of the new uh, wives. She's gone now, and it was a brother. He might be watching right now. Uh, he was from Jersey, good brother, you know, swole brother, you know what I mean, and um. So me and the brother got to talking, you know, I was like, brother, where you from? He's like, from Jersey. I just came down from Jersey. So, you know, uh, they had come from supposedly California. So he came from Jersey. But later on, when I, when, you know, Polite had tried to take advantage of somebody for like $3,000 in Baltimore, um, I ultimately, the brother reached out to me on social media. And I was like, man, I was I was glad to hear from him, you know. Uh, but after that time, you know, New Covenant, like you said, it came and went. And he was wearing the New Covenant shirt. And I said, um, man, how did you meet Polite? Because I did an expose on Polite. I said, how you meet Polite? He said he met Polite through uh, one of the social media platforms. 
and uh, Polite said, uh, come on, I'm doing election in Baltimore. Come on down. When he came down, he threw him a, <laughs> a shirt uh, for New Covenant, and he was New Covenant and being the bodyguard. So it made me wonder, like, is that how New Covenant was happening, just passing out shirts? and Because it, it appeared on camera that they were fit, ready to go, and organized. And now I got another story that I'm trying to bring to the channel where a brother from the Bahamas took um, Polite to the Bahamas and he took advantage of the people in the Bahamas. But this new covenant thing was he was going to make this guy the grand sepulchus or whatever the terminology was. It's like some king. And But my point is, how did, were you there when it went from the... Uh, the, the African garbs, if you will, to the baseball cap and jacket, to the New Covenant polo shirt. Were you there? One second, let me unmute you. Were you there that, at that time? Did you see that transition? Yes, Absolutely there. How did that whole happen? Time. Whole, whole time. I don't know. It was like we blinked our eyes and they had uniforms. <laughs> and it was like, where is this coming from? But here, here's the thing about it. So, we were, this was one of the, another video that was actually cut. And I'm going to bring the receipts next time. Another video that was cut up. We out, I'm out there on the 25th. Blight has his two new covenant security guys. But the thing, and that's one thing I like about you. You're trained to go. Like you, 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 if you're going to go, you're going. I'm the same way. I think Muslims kind of have that in us. You know, like, listen, it, 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 Brother, we will go on you if we got to go on you. You know what I'm saying? So, but my point is this. Polite was out there and he was making, I mean, such a debauchery of himself with his wives and his two security. And it was so bad, like insulting and playing around me when I was, you know, we being professional doing, I mean, it, he just was being goofy. I don't know if he was high that night or whatever. But I was going to smack his head off his shoulders. Like, seriously, what he was doing. I mean, he was playing behind my back, you know. Oh, I mean, I was like, I'm about to smack your head across his dad going street, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> then the security was there. And I told the security because I'm not insulting them, but they was, a, they were, they was in another weight class than I'm, I am. You know what I'm saying? And and it was like featherweight. So I was like, y'all better move this out, out of my way. But Shaka Akbos came, calmed everything down, and we got the the battle back. And that's where you see gonna see Shaka Akmos and me going then. Because he was like, but like you, you you acting like a fool, you know, and Bashir literally snatched you. We get Shaka on this on this show. Shaka will tell you, he'll tell you. I say polite. He say polite for me, not from physical, but um, well that too. But I was gonna slack his head the way he was playing with me. He was he was really being goofy. But anyway, nonetheless, um, Shaka came and you know saved that moment for him. But when when he said that he a little later, polite claimed that him and his wife and daughter was beat by the police. And and uh, I think this was like 2017. And and, and, 2017. and in LA, in California. Yep, I got. Yep. At the time, I'm also in California. Not related to that incident, but I was there before that incident happened. And the incident happened, I so I said, that. so I got a call, and then it was the call was, hey, this happened to the polite and wives, and even though I'm like he's a moron. I'm still going to represent my people and support anything that comes into our, you know, our community to bring harm like that. You know, so we're going to ride. I'm going to go find out what's happening. Um, so we went there. And the first thing I had discovered was I said, I think I seen like one New Covenant shirt. And I was like, where is New Covenant at? I couldn't believe there was no new company there. Like one one person, I think the rapper, um, uh, King Lokes was there. 
And then uh, Malik Zulu Shabazz was there doing the interview. But then it was like, I want to go inside. And I have the footage of this. It was like, I want to go inside the precinct. We're going to go inside the precinct and file the report. But guess who led them? By a law, this is true. Guess who led them in the precinct? Who that? Mullah Bashir. Because, I mean, I was like, because I guess he didn't have New Covenant. So he was kind of timid on going inside. And I'm like, yo, let's go. So wh wh why does that matter? Because this is a person that's claiming to be a leader and can guide people to something good. But the reality is, is like, this boy is character, uh, 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 he's really a coward. He's really a coward on so many different levels, but he just wants to deceive the people because even that ended up being a deception. Even that, yeah, they were never assaulted by the police. But yet, he made us believe this and he, he, oh, he put out a call and, and some of us came out. He had the he had the sister Victoria, that's her name, Victoria. Victoria. He had Victoria's in an embrace as if she was assaulted. But you know what, though, Bashir? At one minute she had the embrace on outside, but then they did a live stream a few days later. Embrace was on the wrong arm. It was that bad. Hey brother, real quick, because I know we gotta get ready to get out of here. Go ahead, listen. Brother, go ahead, brother, go ahead, go ahead, take it away, take it away, take it away. Listen, Nepal should die. That's a, that's a, that's a new one. That's in House of Consciousness because I haven't been a House of Consciousness in some years. You know, I I, I think I appeared a couple of times, but Nepal should die. Wicked. Yes, another true. wicked one. Wicked beyond wicked. Uh, and, and I don't want to even go in too much because it's not personal. It's just real. This sister has been lost her everlasting mind. She's supposed to be in a, a Hebrew sister. but And, and I, I used to speak with her because she used to date Solomon. And they were going to get married. And I was going to be the one that married them. Uh oh, there we go. I did not know that. Yeah, that's yes, sir. Solomon, that's my bro. Yes, sir. I was the one that was officiating that and giving the, you know, the the mediator and the, you know, all that good stuff with them on the phone. You know, good times, bad times. You know. And she was a Hebrew. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Then all of a sudden, she got with another. Long story short. And you already broke down those details. We could go on that another day. So she ended up with Sign Letter. And oh, when she first went there, she still asked for my advice because her and Solomon decided that they couldn't, you know, uh, reconcile. So it is what it is. So she so she calls me and she says, you know, all right, I'm going on Sign Letter show. Do you have any advice for me? Because I've been on that show. I said, well, if you're a Hebrew. Or a woman of God, you should keep that integrity. So I said, you follow the Bible and that's your thing? I said, well, follow your book, follow your scripture and, you know, you'll be all right. Make sure you cover yourself and, and, and do all of that. But she totally does the opposite. Totally rides the bandwagon. Totally knows that this so-called husband of hers... <clears throat> Well, anybody could just be called a wife and a husband nowadays. It's crazy. I thought you had to have some type of some type of ritual or some type of understanding, some type of witnesses that you actually did this, that y'all y'all are actually matrimony. I thought you needed those things, but I guess that's religious. Yeah, that devil. So that devil. so Sonetta, we know, is a devil. Don't have a square other than money and covering child molesters, covering crime, covering uh, lies, blatant lies, and stealing, stealing from the people. So they done stole money from the people. They done stole the dag on people's uh, mind by 
being uh, manipulators of all information. I don't care if it's from Moors, if it's from church, uh, the Israelites, whatever it's from, manipulated. To such a degree where we all know that polite can go to GMS and say, you guys talk about you can have 12-year-old girls and sleep with underage girls. And we're going to stand against that. It's only hype. It's only that political jargon that we see our politicians do. No, 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 no. This not right. This not right. And then you find out Bill Clinton is actually giving the inflation. You know, you find out that that actually happens. It's true. Take care of these guys. They know darn well that their actions were wicked and devilish. They, they, they knew it. Um, Shaka was intelligent from detaching himself from that. Shaka did not get himself involved in that mess and never did. Never did. I promise you, never did. So I could give that man his, his, his uh, I guess they say flowers for that. But King Simon, brother, so ain't none of them my brother. Reggie, Sanetta, Napa, who else I have? Oh, and I'm going to have to, oh, Inky. Uh, and, and the thing that's crazy is, is that Inky was beefing with Sanetta and they still have this beef and, and they go back and forth for years they've been doing that. But I see him back on Sanetta program, you know, being real friendly. And I, and I said to myself, both of y'all was accusing each other of knowing that this guy was a rapist. That's, oh, excuse me, excuse me. A child molester or, you know, a sexual deviant. Can we say that? Sexual deviant? Because I don't want him to come home from jail trying to sue me. <laughs> but I wish he would try to sue any, about any of us. We're going we gonna to get a law. He's going to get a lawsuit come out of jail trying to sue us. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it, it, he probably will because he because he's going to be, you know, he know how to deflect. That's what they do. Put me in this PC over here. He'll find a way to get transferred to another PC. He'll find a way, you know. But um, anyway, anyway, my brother. Um, what is uh, uh, so we can get up out of here. It's getting late. All right. So, oh, it's just a couple more things that I wanted to um, go over statistically that I thought was very interesting. Right. Um, and I thought it was interesting that 57.6% of black children and 31.2% of Hispanic children and 20.7% of white children are living absent with their biological father. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we used to have conversation. I don't want us to think this is ideological or attack on a, a status of a woman because it's not. This is not that talk today. But when the brother, when we are teaching the people, the black family structure was important. You know, the, the actual family structure that we have was an important thing to educate people wanted to talk uh, to the people about. And I will always want to have these logical conversations and logical debates on practical things that we actually deal with in our society on a regular basis. But what, what they wanted was to feed us BET with so-called knowledge. That's what they wanted to do. They gave us BET and BET has some pretty good shows. They have some pretty good shows. Not all of them are ratchet, but they cloaked they cloaked information and totally, totally family, totally, totally robbed you of the opportunity to have better options. So now we have more people that's going to go the route that Polite is going. That's a fact. Inside that so-called conscious community, because it doesn't exist. It's a lie. The people that is there supporting it, they do not care about no knowledge. They don't care about their wives or their children. Majority of them. That's a fact. Majority of them don't have wives and children. That's another fact. And you know, so... Is it, is it, is it, isn't it, isn't it... When I seen 
it appeared that Sanita ditched Cynthia for Nepal. I knew he had lost his mind. Yeah. I knew he lost his mind. Mm -hmm. Even though she tried to get you into the uh, the contract thing and all of that. Now we cool. Now we cool. But I, I will say, I will say that I remember when I went to New York to address Sarnetta for inviting me to his private parts uh, uh, on live, you know, because he, he, he's 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 just that type of weird. Um, but nevertheless, uh, she was instrumental, you know, because of, 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 I walked straight through the line. I wasn't paying at your little event, none of that. I walked straight through the line. But she was very instrumental in like, uh, can you and my husband try to work this out? And she was just really, really genuine, you know, and every time I seen her, and I tried to, I tried to hope for the best and support that this could, this could been a real thing. The last thing that I went to was the Sinetta uh, TV awards. And I watched him give all of his friends <laughs> like Roy Bay an award. When Roy Bay came to Sinetta TV, he didn't know nothing about Moorish. He had a Bay on his name, but he was a new oppo. He knew nothing about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. That was another one of my motivations. I'm like, this guy, he's talking and he's name dropping Noble Drew Ali because of the Bay. And they're pushing him. Like you said, they was trying to push uh, uh, you into a certain direction. So you can tell somebody was trying to push Roy Bay as a Moorish American. Ultimately, he would join the temple. So they must have really put some gas or battery in his back. He joined the temple in Brooklyn, then left that temple and then joined another one. And then he joined a crazy weird splinter group that's going to sell you paperwork for a thousand dollars. And now to this day, uh, he's still uh, acting as if, you know, he is certified in Moore's science. But I remember he didn't even own a fast when the Moors had a debate with, uh, 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 what was it? Reggie and Sharif. Um, and we were there. The brother had to take a fez, an extra fez out of his bag. Say, brother, you can't be in here with a bay on your name without a fez and actually give him a fez. That's where he got his first fez at that debate, bro. So they were actually manufacturing even, it's many people out here right now, even in Baltimore with bays and L's on their name. They don't know what it means. So when Roy Bay would, would come there, he didn't know an ounce of that. And so it, 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 I bring that I bring that up because it, it just sounds so true how they was manufacturing these I, identities and try to remanufacture you, <laughs> remanufacture you and then sell it back. Um, bro, let me let me make sure you got everything off your list because I got a few more questions before we roll. Anything else you want to touch on? Wait, let me let me let me just say, all right, let me just um no, I wait. You know what? These these couple of things. If I can, if I'm given a chance to conclude, I'll just add that. Okay, okay, okay. So look, what I what I what I wanted to add was this. What I wanted to add was this. Do you do you in your in your humble? Let me cut the mic because it's bleeding a little bit. Do you do you in your humble opinion believe that at one time? Sarnetta had any good intentions now that's a hard one to answer let me first say because you did say he started off bootlegging jack legging dvds but do you think that at some point there was any good intentions behind uh uh the Sarnetta uh hok concept because even i remember the the, the picture you're in one of the first pictures where he's standing up like this Lord Abba, you, everybody's there, and it, 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 and, and that picture is, is, is cryptic. Like, look what I'm creating. So, in the, do you think that there was any good intentions in that, or was it always a, a comic book, uh, in the making? Because when you look at it now, it does look like characters. It really do, you know. And let me give you, let me give you a tidbit on this. When I decided that I was going to come and and, and speak on uh, Moorish, um, I'm known in the temple as Johnson Bay. <laughs> you know how Moors do. I'm known in the temple as Johnson Bay, and 
a sister had told me one time, she had said, you look like, you look like a Pharaoh. You look like the Pharaoh Tahaka. And then that's how I took that name on. I, I don't know. She might got a picture of Tahaka. I probably don't look nothing like Tahaka. But that's why I got the name. And I say, well, I'm not going to use. I, I had a business. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was going to go hard because they was disrespecting the prophet over Drew Ali and everything. Um, I knew I was going to go hard. And I say, well, well, I'm going to use what, 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 the, what the sister called me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use Tahaka Bay. That way, when I go hard and they Google me, my customers won't know. I mean, they're going to Google the uh, Toronto Johnson Bay, but they won't be, if they Google Tahaka Bay come up, you know what I mean? I can get away with it for a minute because I knew I was going to go hard. But I also looked at it like it was, they was playing characters. And in order to get in there to address it, I also had to cloak my true self into this person that they would think would be one of them. You understand what I'm trying to say? And so that's that's why if you go back and see, you 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 really can detect it. I was like, nah, this is crazy. No, no, no. The prophet never said this. And every time they start talking, I start yelling. I over talk them real fast. I wouldn't even kick in no knowledge. I would just over talk them. Ah, 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 ah. You know what I mean, every time you give me on the show, because I knew it was a game. But in the beginning, to my question, bro, was it always set up that way to be comic book fresh? Do you think from the from the time that that picture hit? In my in my in my humble opinion, the moment Sanetta. So I think when he was with Khaled Muhammad, he had to be real then. I think that energy had to be real with Khaled Muhammad, but I didn't see him there. That's what I was but about I'm, to say. Has anybody ever witnessed him with Khaled Muhammad? Because there's a, there, no. is, there is words that it's not actually with Khaled Muhammad. He has a few pictures with Khaled Muhammad, like, you know, with photo ops all the time. So I met a very right. polite with the Hollywood and got many a photo ops with people and claiming that they his friends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the word, is, and I'm going to tell you what, I talked to Sadnetta, it's that picture with him, Dr. Khaled Muhammad, and uh, the founder of the New Black Panther Party. I can't think of his name off the top. And when I, when I first found the picture, I asked Sadnetta, I said, bro, where was this at? I said, you know that picture you got with Khaled? He said, I don't think I got any pictures with Dr. Khaled. I said, no, I got your name on there. Uh, and what's his name? I forgot. Doctor or something. He was a doctor then. Doctor. I forget the name. He had a doctor. Um, but the, the other guy was there. I said, have you ever met such and such? He's going to be on my show. Yeah, Michaels. Aaron Michaels. I said, Aaron Michaels is going to be on my show. He's like, who is Aaron Michaels? Bro, he said he didn't even. Bro, I got the conversation recorded. He was like, who's Aaron Michaels? Aaron Michaels is the founder of the new Black Panther Party. Before Khaled, before Malik, he is the original founder. And and he's in a picture with Aaron Michaels, Dr. Khaled, and himself. You know what I'm saying? He said he didn't remember the picture, nor did he know Aaron Michaels. I was like, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. So there is a chance that he was a member of the chapter, but he probably was not associated closely with Dr. Khaled, bro. That, that's the fact of the matter. And he's used in Dr. Khaled as a crutch. You understand what I'm saying? And the only reason he would be in the Black Panther of, of, of in the Harlem branch, which he does have picture with uniform on, uh, would be because he was in the Nation of Islam. And the next thing from Brothers from the Nation, they would follow Dr. Khaled because he was so inspirational and they would join the Black Panther Party. However, that doesn't mean everybody was elbow to elbow with Dr. Khaled. And I don't even believe he was elbow to elbow with Dr. Khaled because the way that he conduct himself, it shows that he has no discipline of a FOI, nor do he have a discipline of a militant. He's just talking crazy, talking loud for attention. So I don't, I don't believe none of that to be true at all. But back to my point, brother. Was this a costume dress up from day one and try to manufacture people to the people to bring the goods back? Brother, with that information you just put in there, it has to be. 
Because what I was going to say was, I, didn't, I don't know. You just gave the history. And, and I trust your word. And the reason why I trust your word is because you've always st stood on your word. That's, that you give people the benefit of the doubt that stand on their word and don't show you that they are hypocrites. They're, they're flim flamming back and forth, you know? So I was going to say, once he started selling stuff under, under black consciousness, no way. There's no way because of the way he did it. So if you're going to take DVDs and not even say, Brother Tahaka, you made Moore's World whatever DVDs. I want to buy 100 of them for X amount of price, you know? And then I'm going to sell them for this amount, you know? That's keeping the black dollar moving. That's keeping business going. But no, we're black power, so we're not going to take the Hollywood movies and bootleg those. No, you're going to bootleg the teachers that have been putting our work out here <laughs> forever. And you know, I was with, I had a big problem because I'm like, I'm so glad and happy I'm part of the Akhmadiyya Muslim community. I don't know any other communities that I'm not part of them. But I was like, your teacher, like one of them, Dr. Ben, I was there. I, I believe I truly love Dr. Ben more than these Negroes. Come on, man. I was there and can have the proof that, you know, I met the man, I spoke to the man, you know, had conversations with him, went to his funeral. But I said, it's pretty weird that y'all do all these lectures and get this money and do this and do that, but you can't even properly bury your teacher that you done said his name a million times. You done sold his information, but none of you could co collectively come together and create a situation where you could do for yourself. I'm talking about these Forget the religious folks, people. Forget their culture, the Arab stuff, the all of that. When you gotta bury your people in the church, you brother, have to. Let me say this, brother. One of the most, one of the most saddest, one of the one of the most saddest times that I've seen on HOK is when Doctor Ben was in the nursing home for, on his final days, and Sanetta jumped on the opportunity to go get footage as Dr. Ben was on the decline and tried to interview Dr. Ben as he was on the decline. You know what I mean? It, 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 was, it, was, it was very crazy to me to see that. Um, it was very crazy to see that because Dr. Ben, uh, like, you know, he just deserves so much more. And I was saying to myself, I was saying to myself as I was watching that, like, wow, this is not, this is not good. This is not good. You know, he's on a decline. He's departing the flesh and you can see it. And they trying to underscore that they're so conscious, that they're so black power, that they're so uh, with those leaders that they want to say, I got a relationship. Look, I got him on film, but it was in the decline of his age, of his, of his life. And it just looked so sad and pathetic. And it looked thirsty on their part. I just thought it was a bad look, bro. And now, and then when the funeral came, as you said, it, it, it didn't reflect anything that the master teacher actually was teaching and what they were selling either. Sad. Yeah, and it's like, um, at the end of the day, uh, the Moors, the Christians, the Israelites, those that have a so-called way of life or religion, that, that's not place semantics. But the creator is there, you know, you got a prophet there, you know, whether we agree or not. That those groups are generally sincere or actually make a movement. The the Hoteppers and where black powers people and and that Sinetta realm are not real, never going to be real, don't want to be. 
and that's the sad part because Sarnetta is the is the um who 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 created um Frankenstein? What was his name? I forget the guy name, but I was just talking about that a few weeks ago. Yeah. Now that created Frankenstein, the light would be the Frankenstein. So I've never really pushed Polite and gave Absolutely. him that thing. And then he seen that Polite can draw. And so it was like, okay, because Sarnetta does play good chess. But he manipulated the entire thing not to satisfy the people, period. So it's like, look, Sarnetta, Napa, Brother Reggie, of course, Poor Light. Who else am I mentioning? Missing it. Uh, uh, I'm going to say Inky. I'm going to say uh, Simon. All of them. Even Tazaria in them. Playing over there after all of this is not a good look. And the reason why is because, like the scriptures say, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And we're like, well, well, if we get there, we're going to quit the knowledge and we're going to do this. No, because it's the devil's house. And the devil's going to make you play by their, his rules. And his rule is hellfire got to outdo the paradise. You know, that's what the Satan think. He think brother, brother, I got I got to chime in right there. Because one of the things that was my goal was is if I can stand on 125th and I can get loud and take a little bit thunder, I'm going to build more World TV because I never wanted to go to 125th and to debate anybody because I seen what was happening to you. But I think I told you privately that we would see a live stream and then you go look for the live stream is down. The debate was full, fully live and then it'd be down for two hours. And then when you come back, all of the key points that you were making was, <laughs> I was like, what the world? <laughs> like, for real, this this is literally how it would happen. The live stream would go live, and maybe he would put it on unlisted or private, and then he would edit it down in YouTube and for like two hours or three hours, and you come back like, what happened? I just watched this thing. You know what I'm saying? And so, so at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I was like, I wanted to create something where as though if I debate, it's going to be my entity or our entity, as I say, the people's channel against you, against them. You know what I'm saying? And so that that was that was one of my goals. One of my goals was not to go there and debate because I watched Brother Sharif. Brother Sharif be sitting up there, and he be talking all intelligent, and he's real calm. He seafood strong, you know, because he got the the martial arts thing, so he's very calm. And they just ganging up. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't gonna be able to do that part. And so that's what I want to do. But to that point, bro, as we get into the fall season, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be traveling, I'm going to be setting up, and we are going to have presenters such as yourself to bring the knowledge back in other words uh, uh you're in philly now it will be nothing for me to take a trip to philly we sit down wherever is that sit up the cameras get your get get all your information together and bring it to the people and everybody knows me i don't have a problem with anybody belief just make sure that it is sound for you and makes sense for you. Because if it makes sense for you, then hopefully it can make sense for somebody else. And anybody on Moore's World TV, you already know, I don't proselytize telling you to put a fez on your head, proclaim your nationality. I don't do none of that. What I say is we need to all critically think and we will find where we need to be. Um, but Bashir, do you have any more notes, bro, uh, that you want to cover real quick? Yes, sir. But first, I wanted to say, see, the devil, the, the, man, the devil is wicked, boy. <laughs> the black devil was a wicked, it's, it's, it's something else. Because we got a real devil, of, the, the battle, a bigger I'm one. Flesh. I'm talking about flesh. And the ones inside of us. It's metaphorical. But listen, these same people 
But like, oh, I got land. I'm gonna give a hundred. We're gonna get a hundred acres of land. Come on, y'all. He's on record saying this. I was there when he was with um, Ryan Artest. World Peace. He changed the name to right. We're gonna get the hundred acres of land. Then he said, "Well, I got this psychologist, psychiatric type situation going on. This was supposed to be in Nevada. No, 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 no. We got this project. What was it? Ohio somewhere. We got these containers. We're building houses. It's black. Yeah, come." Come get down with me in the real estate investment. Come on. So, and people sending money. People sending money. They sending money for all of these different things. Chicago, open a bookstore, grand opening Monday, grand closing like Thursday, literally. Like three days. The devil. Brother Taharka. The Grand Sheet buys a building, fix the building, and these devils want to say something against the brother getting space for what he believes. <laughs> like, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what men supposed to do. So we have, and that's the thing, men don't roll like that. Men do not expose a woman to other men unless he pimping. Men do not expose their daughters to the world in an undignified manner unless he pimping. Men do not just talk and talk and don't create and literally build and make space for their their people or their family or build a home or whatever it is men have integrity and know that they are nation builders no matter how minute of a level it may be so it's like family I don't know what the problem is, but if we continue the, the path that these Negroes, and I hope that they reform their ways, because we can, as long as you breathe and you can have a chance to reform and reconcile, reform and reconcile. So maybe that will happen. But I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they love the fire. I'm sure, excuse me, uh, my phone wrong. I'm sure they, they just, they enjoying that, that 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 hellfire bath that they are in, but I I want to I want to thank the men out there that know how to protect their women, their children, their babies, and I want to thank the women that will never expose themselves and put themselves in the position where their children are susceptible for being taken advantage of, and. If you are doing anything, if we are doing anything that relates to American culture from the sense of how we socialize, how we party, how we, what is a person that's a teacher or he was never a teacher. He was only doing that to get the support. It was worse than the Cruffalo dollars. At least Creflo Dollar and them continue to go with it. They're going to die with it. But he was like, I can use information, build myself up. But the reality is, is that whatever I could do to live in a Hollywood type situation, that's what I want to do. I want to fly and party and have fun. I don't want to be on the front lines like a Martin Luther King. Those Negroes not rich. They can't, they can't you know, uh, have a Rolls Royce. You know, but the consciousness where 
you could show four or five Rolls Royces and the people, the people that just follow that. Oh yes, we can, we can achieve this goal. I'm like, man, you have been bit. You still got the American uh, 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 pathology. <laughs> we have this American pathology in our head. It's a sickness that says um, we have to try to go acquire, you know, the things that really are not obtainable. Like the average millionaires don't even get Rolls Royces for real. Like seriously, that's like a rapper thing that he's showing. That's like that's like you know a, a Floyd Mayweather thing. But it all trickles to all of them. Buster Rhymes will co-sign a polite publicly, and 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 I don't want Buster and them feel them no type of way. But it's just real talk. Even though you talk that five percent or law or whack bar or whatever, but they were just. Okay, you made it up here to be right here. I'm just going to big you up. We're going to have to take it like that's the lifestyle that you like. Manipulating our women and putting them in harm's way. Which trickle down to our children. So all you Negroes doing that. Because it's the lifestyle. It's the lifestyle. Who going to Miami Beach? You know why you go to Miami Beach? You go there mostly to have fun, party, or to hustle. We have these cities, Sin City, Vegas. Why do you go to Vegas? You go to Vegas to do what? Gamble, watch some shows, but primarily gamble. So these locations that they're trying to show us <laughs> under the guise that they have the people's best interests in mind, but they're sending us to the places, to desire the places that's going to destroy our damn lives. It's ridiculous. And our children's lives. So instead of really educating ourselves and getting ourselves together as a people where we can literally start building something, you know darn well that man owes the people. The people support it. Sinetta, the people support it. Polite. I'm just going to go with polite. They supported him. Many different ways. But he never provided the people with anything. And when he does, he goes, he goes, the vegan man with all the money, go to the damn poor and then feed them five dollar little Caesar pizza. Like this is who they say is the most intelligent guy and he has it figured out. This is what these these people that follow that little circle, this is what they're saying. Well, there's a whole lot that said different. Like, yeah, he is scamming. Yeah, he is no good, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, I don't want to be the damn horse. I want to conclude with the house of consciousness is not conscious. And if you have your babies or yourself really involved in that, expect hell to come to you. Expect your women to be violated, your children to be violated, you to be violated, expect it. And don't say on Morris World TV you wasn't warned. This brother talking about the grand sheet, he been warning y'all about this for years. I, I mean, over and over. Like, I've been here, a lot of people been here. So if you want to save yourself and your children, whatever you do, don't trust those Negroes over there at the house of consciousness. I don't care how good they may sound. How, I, I don't care because the reality is they don't have our, our family's um, best interest in mind, period. Um, I do want to make a note of this. There's a lot of people do have this perception of, no, we, yeah, we weren't from Africa. If we need to be doing like this and doing like that. Listen, sis, the majority 90% of rape victims in America is women. So at any time, a nation may go to war with another nation or community, like a physical, literal war. You know, we've been so protected. The women know they are prime, they're, they're subjected to becoming booty. B-O-O-T-Y, the spoils of war. 
And that means somebody, a group of men, can destroy perhaps the group of men that are your protectors and they will take you. Be aware that this is a reality. So our men needs to maintain a certain position and our women need to understand their position in the family structure and we need to work cohesively together. But we have to understand that sisters, if you are exposing yourself and a man allowing you to expose yourself, your whole family is exposed. If you have a cut or something and you don't bandage it up and put, you know, put the ointment on there, you just let it just stay open, an open wound, what's going to happen? It's going to get infected. And, and these drugs and, and, and uh, alcohol, stuff like that, oh, for a teacher that we're like was supposed to be, or even myself, you should never see Brother Bashir up in the club drinking uh, anything. Even if Brother Bashir liked to do that, I should not publicize that. You know why? Because that's death and destruction. Not, oh, no, liquor, and, and, and you know, it doesn't really affect, no, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about, yeah, maybe you already sexual, active, over -sex sexual. You like, you like these many women. How about a woman that likes so many men? But let's go back to the man. You like this woman, you got that woman, this woman here, woman there, woman there, woman there. But you partying, now you partying. You the teacher, a conscious guy. Now you throwing back them drinks. It's the only thing you see is pretty faces, breasts, curves, and a gluteus maximus. <laughs> That's all you see. So when that 13 year old come by, oh yes, sir. When that 13 year old come by, mixed with partying lewdness, horniness, and drinking, and some drugging, something's going to fall in the wrong way. And if, and if, and if, if, the, if the, the women and the children are in the way, they're going to be, they gonna be uh, affected by it. And that's just, that's just the reality. And so understand that every 93 seconds, a woman is raped in America. That's under two minutes. That's under two minutes. I don't know how long we was on the show, like for real. So it's like, sisters, we got to become more conscious. And I'm not saying you have to be a prisoner to clothes or, or your body, but we need to be more conscious because the sister that made the impact statement, if she was not partying and, and drinking, maybe she would have been able to see that this lifestyle and behavior comes with a lot of consequences. A lot of consequences. And if we look at people like uh, the so-called celebrities, these A-list celebrities, like Floyd Mayweather, these people are not married and family-oriented. These, these are not the example for the people. Yes, they're cool. We like what they do. You know, They are entertainers. That's what celebrities are. Celebrities are entertainers. The, the, the damn jester is not supposed to be running the kingdom. The jester is supposed to be on stage doing jester things. We got to keep them on their on they square. They're jesters. Let them be the clowns. And then let your grand sheets and stuff put in the work and leave. How about, how about we do uh, some of that? So, family, I hope that, you know, um, I, I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate uh, my brother having me here, seriously. I'm trying to get my citizenship for real. I ain't trying to get deported, brother. <laughs> I think you muted. You muted. Oh, yeah, what I need from you is when I start doing my series, bro, I want you coming to uh, the deep particulars about the Amadea movement. And I, you know how I like to do it. I like to start off with giving, uh, uh, with giving your history of how you entered into the community. Um, and then break down the particulars. And I'm not talking about no debate. I'm talking about a true dialogue uh, that if one choose, because this is what I see. I think that we need to, all of us need structure. Without structure, we fail. It is what it is, you know. 
And so at the end of the day, um, it may not be for everybody, but it may be for someone that could change their life forever. I know when I came into the teachers of the Morris Science Temple of America, there was nothing remotely close that could influence me like that. Not even my parents. You know what I mean, and, and, and I'm a mama's boy. 1,000. My mama go to the temple with me. She go to events. She, I'm a mom. I'm 1,000. But nothing could influence my life like that. So if we are able to give the brothers that sincere a platform, the sisters that sincere a platform, it may help someone that we won't even, we won't see ourselves. but long as it works, it works. Another thing is, is um, I'm thinking about uh, seeing if if we can bring the integrity back to debates. I would love to debate Shaka Atmos on on a lot of information that he put out about Moorish. Uh, I think that would be a beautiful thing. I think that can bring people back together. Um, I've met Shaka, Shaka Atmos. I know people say a lot about Shaka Atmos. I didn't see that Shaka Atmos that people talk about. I actually seen the Shaka Atmos that you talked about tonight. Um, after all the words that Shaka said about the Moors, he done about four or five presentations in HOK. Um, but when I seen him, I just laughed and we laughed and and it's nothing. It's it's information. It's not that serious. You know what I mean? But I would love to try to work to bring back that integrity to being able to have brotherly sisterly conversation without the theatrics without the drama just pure pure information and be the will of a law i'm gonna make that happen because we need to have challenging provoking thoughts in our community you know in order to take us to the next level without challenging and provoking uh thoughts we stay stuck and we stay behind and we stay right in the place where these people have the ability to manipulate us because we're not challenging ourselves. And the thing is, one thing that I do love that I think that I bring to the table is, is that Morris World TV provides that space where anybody can come in and they don't have to feel pressured about, I'm trying to get you to be a more or someone trying to get you to be a Muslim, or someone trying to get you. No, I'm going to give you logic and perspective from my journey, and maybe you can use it in yours, but I'm never going to try to convince you to be anything that you don't want to be. And what I want everybody to be is better tomorrow than they are today, and be real critical thinkers, because if you ain't thinking critically, you're going to fall victim. You feel me? I see Judah in the building. He said, am I blocked in here? No, Judah, you, you, you're not blocked, brother. Uh, with that being said, brother, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the floor and let you take us out. I'm going to be reaching out to you so when you get to your computer, we're going to get to the receipts that, that if you want to bring some receipts, and then we're going to get to the teachings, and we're going to start bringing the scholars back. Family, would y'all still stick around? Let me ask real quick before I let my brother take us out. You know, we get into the drama, we get into the research, and I'm never going to stop that. If I start bringing the scholars back, if I bring the scholars in once a week, once a month or whatever, are y'all going to abandon ship because you don't want to learn? Or will you uh, uh, challenge yourself to learn something new? I need anybody who will support that. I want to diversify the channel. I need you to throw a seven in there because if you don't, if, 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 you, if that ain't what you want, then what's the point in the first place? But we do need to bring that back. You know what I mean? We do need to bring, I feel we need to bring that back. I feel we need to bring uh, Black Girls Read uh, uh, talking about tarot. You know what I mean? That she, she, she's very fluent in tarot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Brother Bashir, but y'all don't know, is he's a he's a, a member of the Ahmadiyya movement, which is closely resembles uh, the Moorish thought more than any other Islamic community where people don't know. And some people don't know that there is uh, 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 communities, I don't like to say sex because there is no sex in Islam. There is communities within Islam that are so many, it's so many different ones that many people think that they all the same because they see somebody in a, um, in a, uh, 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 in a kufi or something, you know, and just like back in the day, 
if one would say they're Muslim, they would think that you sell bean pies, that you was an NOI. Some people, people just did not know. And so I think it's always going to be uh, uh, refreshing for us to bring our learned brothers and sisters to a platform where we're not trying to browbeat you into believing what we're what we are what we believe or have faith or confidence in but give you information and if you want to use it you take it and use it and if you don't you do like anything else you do like the body do you take out the good nutrients of information and then you excrete that that you don't need period point black let me yield the floor to my brother Bashir brother Bashir we doing this real soon yep the floor is yours brother man I, I, I didn't want the floor back I thought you should have closed it out but I, but I do have this thought that when, 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 <laughs> so I wanted to I just wanted to real quick just let us understand the state of the people right just real quick family I'm, I'm gonna get us out of here but listen I went to a funeral last week Long story short, majority of it Christian, no problem, um, which I knew. <clears throat> now, here's the thing I wanted to get to, uh, us to understand. And so, inside the church, by a fact, hold up, this, this, her, this, her, uh, this, this her thing right here. What's that called? The uh, obituary thing, right? <laughs> but listen, so, I mean, the church is full. It, it, it's full. And there was a times where you could go and say some say some things, you know. So the preacher was doing his thing. I mean, he going, you know, he's doing his preacher thing, you know. And uh, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm gonna relate this to this is side that are these devils. So so I. Didn't want. I wanted to say something, but I, I didn't. And then I felt like I needed to because it was so much dead, no life up in there, and no truth. But I knew I had to be very strategic on how I word things, right? So I took my little time, and it's my eye, it's my eye, mind you. So I should be able to say some things about my eye. But she used to be uh, a Muslim. She gave me my first Quran. Um, you know, uh, she taught me some Islam. This was 25 years ago. And um, what she knew. I went to tell them some of her experiences on her search of God, you know. Then I had quoted Second Corinthians, uh, what was it, chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. That, that, right? Um, Then I said, I want to read Al Fatiha, for example, from the Quran, and um, and correlate those two in retrospect to, to my eyes. Like, and the pastor behind me, he he he's sitting down like I am, and I'm standing at the podium. And I mean, this guy just was, he was like, no, don't say that about his law. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that about his law. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and then I said, wait. I looked at this guy like, first of all, it's my aunt. We about, we're in the ground. So I don't, you know, you doing some preacher that I don't know what he talking about. But then my, my other aunt is super Christianified. So she gave me that eye. So I was like, you know what? I don't have to, but I am. I'm just going to let everything go. And I just was speaking. I wasn't trying to convert nobody. I just was representing, um, I thought, the Bible well. And I thought I wanted to represent, you know, some things with the Quran. Uh, say, just how far to And I understood. I'm in the house of worship. But my point is, is that they were against it to such a degree that I really wanted to DDT the preacher. But it's due to their ignorance for information. Because majority of the people in that church were like drug addicts. Majority of them <laughs> had issues that were friends from the block. You know, because you know you in Baltimore, you know how it is. The block, the blocks know you, you know, so the block will come to the funeral, you know. 
Well, none of them are Christian. All of them are in cahoots together. But we gotta we have to watch those type of groupings because if, if if it doesn't mean us no good to really educate us, will we really understand what is going on, what is happening, and not just be frivolous with with whatever we are? So we're in the Bible. Follow the Bible, man. Follow, follow the commandments and rules in there. If you if you have whatever you have that you say is your religion, stand on that. What whatever whatever it is you say is your way of life. Stand there first. That's the first step. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a Muslim, the Quran is my book. Stand on that Quran first. First and foremost, understand the laws, understand what needs to be done, and then master that. Then you can move and, and, and adjust and do all that. So I want us just to understand that consciousness is not going to relieve us of ignorance. In fact, not that type of consciousness, I want to say. True consciousness will alleviate ignorance. But that's not true uh, uh, consciousness at the House of Consciousness, given by um, Sa Netta, Sa Satan, Sa Devil, that one, that side. Um, anyway, I'm done rambling. Um, the pie, you wicked as hell. Hope you see it. Um, um, Minister Inky, stop playing, bro. You wicked as hell, too, because you knew it was going down. Y'all y'all playing these games. I don't know. He said, she said, hide and go seek. Like, we're not playing those kids' games no more. We know what things are. We're going to call it like it is. We're going to see it how we want to see it. I appreciate y'all. And um, hopefully I ain't bore y'all to death. <laughs> and no, this be was a good one, bro. This was a good one. This was a very good one. Um, you know, it's like, you know, when we have, when we in passion and when we're passionate about something, when we're passionate about something, sometimes we, we can go off course and it seems like we're rambling, but you painted a beautiful, beautiful picture. So family, I just want to say family, I want to, I want to thank you. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. How we want to say it. And I, we're going to go out with this Bashir. What you know about this Bashir? Let me tell you what I you know about this. Check Did you hear one, that? Two. No. Don't hear it. Don't hear it. Someone catch you on the block and catch you. hear it in chat. Let you in. Rock your knocking. Yeah, I can and me. Cause I'm exposing your robber. See, I used to be a robber. I was robbing the stuff. And the ages in the hood selling nasty grub. I was only 17 and I didn't know better. Put the things in the face and said, Give me the cheddar. But it really amazed me the age of 40 that people would use the things that would annoy me to rob our people. Like Bibles and Quran, take your money and then they're gone. You sell and plagiarize books and dreams of unity. Blame the Europe. But look what you do to me. Got me thinking we gon' overcome. I said, I said, I said. Off. You really want to know. You gon' have to watch it back for the rest of your life. I know good and well you can't sleep at night. You done robbed everybody from the hood to the birds. With your oaks, your crystal, your books, your herbs. You convinced everybody that it's white supremacy. The fact of the matter is you're the real enemy. You have been lying to the people back in your pockets. You ain't nothing but an internet profit. You gon' have to watch it back for the rest of your life I know good and well you can't sleep at night You done robbed everybody from the hood to the birds With your own your crystal, your books and herbs Now they calling me the eye cause I revealed the scam They will shake your hand and still grip your fans And say hope to that peace, black power shalom Assalamualaikum, praise the Lord in Islam At the same time they plotting to get in your pocket They will white label sunglasses, cups and watches Make a profit for the enemy they talk about I can't understand why you ain't been walking now you ain't noticed that you met them, you slipping in life On Twitter like the pipe and it just ain't right Bank account got light and you haven't seen the light You burn all the sage and ain't change your plight Incense burning, crystals turning Think to yourself, what you really learning? What you really saw, you gave them your all He on a museum club, in the internet mall Selling deodorant and hurry up and buy He don't really care if you're broke and you die You just acting like, like you don't care either this is pure evil. Have to watch it back for the rest of your life. I know good and well you can't.
can't sleep at night. You done robbed everybody from the hood to the birds. With your own your crystal, your books, your herbs. You convinced everybody that it's white supremacy. The fact of the matter is you're the real enemy. You've been lying to the people fat in your pocket. You ain't nothing but an internet prophet. You're gonna have to watch it back for the rest of your life. I know good and well you can't sleep at night. You done robbed everybody from the hood to the birds with your own your crystals, your books and herbs. You're gonna have to watch it back for the rest of your life. I know good and well you can't sleep at night. You done robbed everybody from the hood to the birds with your own your crystals, your books and herbs. You convinced everybody that is white supremacy. The fact of the matter is you're the real enemy. You've been lying to the people fat in your pockets. You ain't nothing but an internet prophet. <laughs> Family, I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight. I want to thank my guest, Brother Bashir, Imam Bashir. Family, we're going to see more of Imam Bashir, and we're going to see more scholars here. We're about to turn up on this fall season. And let me tell you, that does not stop the research. We're going to continue to research and tear these grifters to pieces. Inshallah. <laughs> Peace and love, family. <laughs> Peace and love.